Do do. Do 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 <laughs> Maybe permanently. Prepare for a good time and a weird time. A good time. Welcome so much. Uh, today, uh, this is uh, we are the the crew who works on Lackadaisy. Uh, my name is Fable Siegel. I'm the director of the animated short. I have with me Tracy Butler, the creator of Lackadaisy, on her head. Hi. And yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's fine. Damn That's it, fine. Tracy. Keeping us all employed right now. <laughs> We are all in cat hell together. Uh, on top of Tracy's head is our 3D modeler slash community manager slash IT person and very good friend, Newt. Hello. Hello, our slimy friend. <laughs> He's our personal Kermit and we love him very much. Um, we also have with us our delightful mod, uh, Nox Kitsune. Uh, say, Hello. Hey, Nox. Uh, we have one of our buddies here, Nick, who's just sitting in. Giving it a watch. So, Howdy. Yeah. And uh, yeah. and we also have the one, the legend, Michael Kovac. Kovac? Hi. Kovac? Co it, honestly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've always I've always said it as Michael Kovac all my life, Damn. but I've also been told that I pronounce it wrong, so I literally don't know. I've, been, <laughs> I've probably been pronouncing my last name wrong my entire life, and I've just come to accept it. Um, so, so oh, even Mike yes. is not an authority on his name. But yeah, Michael. I'm not. So at the end of the day, I think you make the decision you get on to that. Decide. Yeah. <laughs> like my dad and my mom told me that this is how my last name is pronounced. But then I saw other people with like the same last name be like, "My name is Kovac or Kovac or or Kovac," and I'm like, "Okay, I don't know. Um, I'll just. I guess it's just said many different ways. That's fine." Mm -hmm. Mike is uh, uh, the voice actor for Rocky Rickaby, and you might have known him also from uh, a few other things. Uh, if you want to name a few. Oh, God, on the spot. Um, I was in the has -Been Hotel pilot in the Addict music video as Angel Dust. Um, um, the animated pilot Murder Drones, which just came out a few months ago as Serial mm -hmm. Designation N. Um, I'm in Billy Bust Up as Fantokyo. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm in a few things. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mm -hmm. hello. Yeah. He's, he's, our, he's our delightful boy. And he has agreed to absolutely murder poor Newt here. The the game today. Unfortunately. Yeah. The game today, <laughs> we thought it'd be a great idea to teach Mike how to rocket science because that won't go badly at, at all. Um, so, For context, I, mm -hmm. uh, I will be trying to Sifu him, basically. I will be your master splinter. Um. But Mike is not a Ninja Turtle. I have over 10,000 <laughs> hours in this game, cumulatively. <laughs> which is a disgusting number. <laughs> and you have also actual rocket science education. Yes, I have a, a degree in uh, aerospace engineering and then one in uh, aut autonomous robotics. Mm -hmm. um, as well as, you know, a bunch of different sub-focuses and projects in various aerospace fields. So basically, we have a genius and an idiot in the house. Yes, um, you are we're going to be stupid. playing. You are just yeah. chaos. So, Mike, what's your <laughs> education level on rocket science? High school diploma. <laughs> That's it. You watched and a video. We're lucky I even got that. <laughs> I, dude, I started my senior year of high school with like a two point one GPA. <laughs> I, I did not try in school. I didn't bother. Mm. Well, let's see if we can't do you an education and maybe even touch the moon. Not land on the moon. We'll We're see. not, we, we don't want to promise, well, the moon. Let's see if you can touch the moon. No, the moon? my my personal goal is just to, is just to get into orbit. <laughs> That's um, my personal I, goal. <laughs> as you achieve certain milestones, I will allow you to selectively use autopilot. But okay. only once you prove you can do it. <laughs> so okay. It'll, it'll sort of be checkpoints. <laughs> All right. I hope everybody is enjoying my uh, my beautiful background there. But um, 
Uh, if one of you guys wants to uh, share your screen so I can get that up. Yeah, let me boot yeah. the game up. Yeah. Should we try to explain what this picture is? Uh, awesome. you wanna? Well, so the, maybe the, maybe it's better left unexplained. <laughs> so there, there was a question which yes. you might want to laughingly answer, which sure. is, uh, from Toon Kid, would Zib actually smoke marijuana? <laughs> yes. He already does. What do you mean, would? Uh. Yes, I'd say he's a bit of a connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> he sure does love Ben and Jerry's. That Jerry Garcia really hits the spot. This, this is a joke. There was a Missouri uh, news uh, station that did mm -hmm. one of these, like, um, PSA things for parents, like, where kids are hiding drugs in, in their bedroom, and they just had this, like, really dumb bedroom set set up with, like, the mile 420 thing in it and everything. <laughs> And we were like, no, this is missing some items. <laughs> it was just very, very <laughs> silly attempt at trying to... I remember when people to... found out that you can't get those mile signs produced, like, custom order, so they had to have taken one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was too perfect. Uh, for those who don't know, Lackadaisy takes place in St. Louis, Missouri. So... <laughs> Yeah, we it was had trending one day on Twitter. Yeah. Everybody was laughing at this this <laughs> educational video for parents about like how to find how to like how to snoop in your kid's room for like where they're hiding the how drugs. How to tell if your jazz musician is on drugs? Yeah, how to tell if your jazz musician is doing drugs? Oh god. So yeah, Tracy Tracy so sketched we, uh, that out so we, and and I rendered it. We yeah. took the set and just drew Zib in there for fun. <laughs> It put some additional signage in there to make it as clear as possible. Yeah, we need we need people to know <laughs> that whether or not room. he enjoys drugs. <laughs> it's still a bit of a question mark, very subtle, but you know, mm, yes. social commentary is a delicate art. Mm. <laughs> Symbolism. People who say, "I hear guinea pigs," uh, you're hearing my my birds squeaking outside. So, all right. Oh, also. Do we want to, uh... Should I, should I share, to, uh... To share which screen, guys? <laughs> it's um, you can share either. Mine mm -hmm. is mostly up, so I can just fly along with them. Mm -hmm. Uh... Okay. But I'm already it might be more fun oh. to watch newts, honestly. Okay, let's... Also, look. uh, Mike, remember, uh, hit cancel on the black box, and then, uh, close on the gray one. Okay. Don't worry, I know. It'll just automatically close the gray, the black one. Okay. Uh, once everything loads, I think, but from my experience. I was just gonna let it load mm -hmm. everything. All right, I'm currently on Newt's screen. Um, mm -hmm. do we want to uh, share the shtick? The of, shtick. Uh, oh <laughs> yeah. Like what the punishment is. Okay, so um, we came up with the idea for this, and then I forget who it was that suggested it. If it was Knox or just it just came out of the ether. Um, but it was like every time. So uh, every time a rocket ship explodes, Newt takes a shot. We're hoping he doesn't die by the end. <laughs> we have a that hospital like on a... standby. Well, to be yeah. fair, to be fair, I, I genuinely do think that by the end of this, mm -hmm. I'm either just going to crash into the moon and we're going to just call it there <laughs> because we don't want Newt to die, <laughs> or we're just going to be unsuccessful and just we're just going to get to Newt's breaking point and then call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, so... we'll, we'll find out what comes first. I, I just checked our chat history. The alcohol idea came from my suggestion that there should be something to keep Newt's blood pressure low. Mm -hmm. To which you responded, alcohol. Anyway, I have, uh, speaking of shots, uh, I got my Lackadaisy shot glass set on hand. Newt, do you have yours? Uh, actually, yes, I do. I have the one that I most recently received, uh, mm -hmm. which is the sort of crew special one or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I got some myself, and I have a thing of tequila. I'm waiting on Clint to get here with some beer so I don't kill myself too quickly. What? Already something's going off. I just have this playing while, uh, while Mike gets set up. Cool. Gets, uh, set up. It is chugging. Um, there it no, goes. It's, just, it's just going really slow. Oh, I see. That's just it how the game is. It has a very low thrust to weight ratio. Supranical Spunk asks, how is everyone doing? Well, you know. 
<laughs> Hang it in there. <laughs> if you're coming here to escape, we understand. Yeah. We hope you have a good uh, time. So, yeah, I hope everybody's yeah. taking care of themselves and staying yeah, safe. Yeah, be kind to yourself. Maybe, uh, you know, follow along with us and also take a shot. But maybe not alcohol. Maybe, like, soda or something. And then go get your, yep. you know, blood checked for diabetes later. Later. <laughs> Uh, to be clear, folks, I uh, I do have water with me. Yes. I have bread. We are actually um, not doing anything unsafe here. Uh, Newt is both a big boy, like uh, actually physically a large person who can handle it, and uh, yeah, nothing nothing unsafe here is being done. Please drink responsibly. Sincerely. Hey, Kaz. Oh, looking at the stream, it actually does look kind of laggy. Weird. Yeah. Let me see if I can change up. Yeah. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Hey, Kaz. Hey. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to click that button. Hey, you Kaz. happen to still have that really epic, pretty cool animated gif of Zib playing the saxophone, would you? <laughs> I mean... Asking for someone who looks like me and sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> I can send it. I can DM it to you. No worries. Yes, please. All right. All right, Newt. I'm, I've, I've got my very first prompt. What do you recommend? Focus follows mouse or focus follows click? Uh, focus follows cl uh, mm, focus follows click. Uh, focus follows click. Uh, also, okay. folks, we don't have any uh, major like infrastructural mods or anything. We don't have any parts mods or anything like that. Um, we just have some uh, quality of life fixes and some beautification stuff. Uh, so for folks who are aware of Kerbal Space Program mods, we've got like environmental visual enhancements, scatterer, planet shine. Uh, waterfall, a uh, handful of other things. Um, maybe, maybe that's why the frame rate is chunking. Yeah. No, like the fr the frame rate is a hundred percent fine on a on my end. I'm getting just straight hundred and forty four. It's purely Discord. Mm -hmm. Good old Discord. Um, I can All right. Try I'm in the game. It looks like. And seven twenty. Maybe that will let it go a bit smoother. <laughs> Chat says, uh, Raylo in chat says, the irony of a writer for a comic set in the Prohibition era saying, drink responsibly, isn't lost on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, chat go. also asks, uh, Mike, how is Cricket doing? Uh, for those who don't know, Cricket got, Cricket his, his cat is, got into an yeah. accident. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so our cat Cricket had gone missing sometime last week, um, and, uh, you know, she'd been missing for several days before we even made a tweet about it because, like, it was a very small thing. We were hoping she would come back because she, she spends a lot of time outside um, as it is. Like, she, 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 we found her um, outside. She was already born like a feral cat. So, um, and she, she became increasingly frustrated whenever she was left inside. So we just kind of accepted that she might need to be like a semi inside semi outside cat um when we you know when she got big enough so we started letting her stay outside and um just one day uh a week or two ago she just sort of uh you know left and didn't come back and uh, we were worried about her and um you know we just we kept calling for her kept you know leaving stuff out for her just in case she might come back um but yeah to no avail then one day um i was taking care of our dog jack i uh I called for him, I whistled, um, like I did a little <laughs> um, It was a little sharper sounding than that, um, but that got, the, that got our cat Cricket to respond. She was inside of our neighbor's yard. Um, I don't know if she'd been there the whole time or if she had like just recently been there because we called for her every single day, but um, she responded. Um, we, we were able to talk to the neighbors, get them to let me into their backyard, get, get the cat. Um, we brought her in, and, you know, she was responsive, and she ate, but her jaw was fucked. Um, yeah. So we had to, we took her to the emergency vet, um, and then after they did what they could, um, we took her to the veterinary dentist so they could do more thorough, um, you know, looking at her jaw and whatnot. And so they, mm -hmm. they deduced that she got hit by a car. They deduced that, like, all of her injuries are basically the injuries that a cat would sustain if they got hit by a car. Mm -hmm. Um so, yeah, her lower jaw was, fr like, some of her jaw was fractured. Um, a lot, most of the skin from her lower jaw was gone, too. Um, and, like, some things were misaligned, and also some of her teeth were beyond repair and needed to be extracted. 
So right now, uh, she's already gone to the vet and gotten her um, gotten her job basically fixed up. There's sutures in there. Some are dissolvable. Some are not. Um, she has to wear a cone for two weeks. Um, we have to give her a series of medications for pain relief and uh, to make sure that nothing gets infected. Um, and yeah, uh, we're just taking good care of her. We're making sure that she uh, doesn't, you know, mess with her mouth too much because even though she can't reach her mouth with her, you know, arms and whatnot, she could still do damage by messing with her mouth, mm -hmm. like, just in her mouth, um, which honestly, a lot of that is kind of, some of it's unavoidable. She's going to do some damage. We like, we already know that, but it's just a matter of making sure she doesn't do significant damage. Yeah. We have some people in chat saying that they helped uh, contribute to her GoFundMe so that she can get yeah, all the Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. We genuinely like, okay. Cause when we did the GoFundMe, um, we had already spent two grand on her emergency vet visit. And um, so like two grand of the total for that was from mm -hmm. the emergency vet visit. Um, we'd put 3,000 more onto the GoFundMe with, this, with a goal of 5,000, specifically because we thought that's about how much it would cost because that's what the emergency vet said and that's what the research we did said that it would mm -hmm. basically cost to get her back in good shape. Um, we went to uh, the veterinary dentist and um, the bill came up to about what the GoFundMe raised, which yeah. was like 11,000. Um, yeah, so we every like, every woo! dollar cent that was that was extremely needed. Vet bills are very pricey. Yeah, everybody and, that contributed like you helped yeah, so much. Yeah, even, beyond, even getting us beyond our you know initial goal like yeah. legitimately that helped so much. And the quicker she's able to get care, like the less likely it's going to impact the the rest of her life as well. So I was just so happy that the community of folks uh, came together for your little kitty cat. It's quick and yeah, special. Yeah, like she's 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 going to have. Um, some things like her jaw is expected to be basically normal. Um, mm -hmm. Thank God, like her mm -hmm. jaw is going to be just fine. Um, but she is, she's going to, uh, she's, she's already had four of her top teeth extracted and she needs to have four more teeth extracted. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be missing eight teeth total, um, yeah. including her top canines. So, um, you know, she can never go outside again. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because no, she doesn't indoor have her top cat. Canines. Indoor cat yeah. now, that's it's one reason why it's, Ideally, don't let your cats outside. They can get messed up by too many things. But yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Cricket's, Cricket was not an incompetent cat. I mean, she was a very capable cat, and it still can happen. Oh, no, she yeah. was smart. Like, yeah. very smart. Well, she is still smart. <clears throat> yeah. um, like, she's a very smart cat. It's just that she got, she, you know, ended up in a situation that was out of her control, I guess. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know. It's, it's, yeah. Every situation is out of control for a tiny little cat outside. It's yeah. like it's a ten pound creature against a, a car, or a dog, or a kid with you know coyotes. bad intentions yeah. or coyotes, another cat. Anything. It's yeah. yeah. It, God, yeah, I joined traps, anything like like, like, it's, like I joined next door when mm -hmm, we were looking mm -hmm. for cricket just to see if like anybody might have any updates at all. Mm -hmm. And um, I I saw I've seen some weird stories on next door. Like I literally just saw someone on there that posted a picture of their dead cat on their driveway, mm -hmm. where it's like. Where they posted, like Yikes. they posted that someone literally just shot their cat through the head, like unprompted. Yeah. Yeah. It's like why the f people are monsters. That's because people are, fucking yeah. Terrible. But yeah. So yeah. moving, um, moving forward. Let's. Yeah. 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 yeah let's. Anyway. Yeah. Distracted. Yeah. We love cats. <laughs> we do, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so if much you for helping tell out. By the gestures broadly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Newt. Uh, somebody suggested that if Mike does touch the moon. Uh, you have to have the Rickaby special. Oh so, god, I don't even have any good syrup. I just have the shitty stuff. Well, that's what you got. That's what you got, buddy. Well, you got the good old corn you syrup. You are punished no matter what. I'm mean, gonna have corn syrup for cooking. <laughs> I can go. Ugh. Go get. All right. Go if uh, if this happens, go get some. <laughs> okay. Yes. So. All right. So I'm on nude screen. And, uh, yeah, I'm, you, you want to explain this? Um, so basically, me... Michael, this is, uh, I do believe I'm looking at your screen. Yep, so this is the VAB. This is the Vehicle Assembly Building. Uh, that menu on the lower right, that box, KSP Luna Multiplayer, you can go ahead and close. Actually, click on the two, the double blue arrows next to my name. Double if blue arrows. I already it's closed okay. it. How do I reopen it's it? It's okay. If you want to bring it back, it's, uh, <laughs> oh, bottom, no. <laughs> bottom right, uh, little toolbar. Should I, I'm going to just. The LMP. Let's let's look at Mike's screen. Like, what's Hold going on on, on Mike's bottom screen? right? What is it? LMP. It's the red text on a gray circle. Oh, I circle. see it. Okay, mm -hmm. what do you want me to do? There and click the two blue arrows. That'll just warp you up to my time in the universe. 
Okay. okay, I'm with you. There we go. Now, now we're synced as far as time. Also, folks, yes, we're playing multiplayer KSP. <laughs> oh yeah. That basically um, cinched the deal. We were like, when Snoot was like, "Wait, there's multiplayer Kerbal." Oh no. How does that <laughs> work? Uh, it's not official. It is a mod, but it's actually very cool. Uh, basically, whatever. Uh, when I'm walking through my building his first rocket, I'm going to be building one as well, and then we're actually going to take off at the same time, and I'm going to fly alongside him. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little bit patronizing at first, I bet. Well, no, we're, like, I'm basically going to try and walk it, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Um, and, fuck it, if it fails, then I can just switch my view over to his and fly with him. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so, this is the vehicle assembly building. Gotcha. Basically, this is where rockets are made. Okay. To your left, you can see all of your parts. You are currently I on certainly do. pods. Mm -hmm. These are all where your uh, control seats and pods and capsules and probe cores and all of that. Anything that is uh, controlled, be it manned or a drone. Uh, then going top to bottom, we've got our fuel tanks which we have many different sizes and types and so on and so forth. Some attach like in a stack, like a stack of pancakes. Some attach really, really <laughs> like, like a stack a of pancakes, you say. Like a, okay. Like a, All right, when well, we know what soda. Mike's favorite is going to be. <laughs> uh, stack them like all... pancakes. Yeah. Can we can we paint the rocket? Engines. Can it be... Can we paint it Baja Blast colors? Okay. <laughs> Sadly, we cannot paint it. There no! is a mod for that. No. Aww. Um, but we don't have that. Also, Rogue Duck, uh, the way that Time Warp works in multiplayer is subspace based. So, for example, if he and I were flying alongside each other uh, in orbit, just, you know, a couple meters apart, and I started time warping right then, basically on my screen, if I time warped, I would see him start moving in time warp with me and he uh, would see me not time warp because as far as his perspective i'm still there now if i time warp into the future and then make a change as in thrusting away or something like that or moving or anything of the sort then once he catches up to that be it by him time warping up to where i am or just waiting then my craft would do that because that's what the timeline dictates um for an example, it, it takes care, it, you can't paradox it or anything. Uh, they do it very, very cleanly. Um, so then below our fuel tanks, we have all of our engines, of which, again, we have a bunch of different types and sizes. Some require certain fuel, some require air intake, if it's a jet engine or anything. We'll break all those down in a bit. Under that, we have command and control. So we have reaction wheels, which are like gyroscopes that let you turn uh, in space without any, you know, control surfaces like a plane. Uh, and then we have RCS ports, which use exhausts, just a little bit of exhaust, like a tiny, tiny, tiny rocket thruster uh, to rotate you. Uh, mm -hmm. then, we have then we have structural pieces, pretty self-explanatory. It's just, you know, like trusses and beams and stuff. <laughs> uh, robotic parts. God okay. help us if we get to there. Uh <laughs> Robotics, good boy. All right. Uh, decouplers. These are basically things you put in between stages uh, to separate them. Stages of a rocket are kind of... So basically, uh, to lift up a rocket, uh, if you... Do, do you have my perspective pulled up? Uh, let me, um, let me show on. you. Newt, I will show well, your you screen. You don't have to necessarily show me, Fable. Um, I, mean, I can see you your screen through. now, Newt. Yep. Okay. So, for example, if we take this pod, mm -hmm. just just this default example pod, this is the Mark One command pod, first one. Mm -hmm. Actually, technically, the, this one was the first in the game. Uh, we take this little guy. We could, in theory, just slap, like, fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank, <laughs> slap an engine on it, and then we're like, all right, cool, we're going to space. But the problem is, as this tank runs out, and then this tank runs out, and then this tank runs out, we're carrying around a lot of dead weight that we don't want to carry. So rockets use stages. So it's basically, we would have, I'm going to grab an appropriately sized engine. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, nope, that's not right. There we go. So we would have an engine, and then we would use a decoupler underneath that engine. 
so that that can go, and then we have other stuff below it. So then this engine would empty these tanks, then we get rid of them mid-flight, and then this okay. keeps pushing this smaller amount of weight. So we don't have to carry around lots of dead weight. Good, that's it's, useful. Okay. It's, of course, IRL a little more complicated than that, but that's basically what's. But for a video is. game, I mean, you yeah. know. It, it, <laughs> it lets you not have to carry around as much dead weight so you can get more weight into space. Gotcha. Um, okay. From there, we have payload. This is things like cargo bays and whatnot that you can uh, close and open in flight. Um, okay. And basically let you, you know, carry things inside closed spaces. Uh, we'll probably be using fairings, and I'll show you how to use those when we get to those. Uh, aerodynamics, pretty straightforward. It's all your wings, all of your tail fins, nose cones, uh, air intakes if we were making jets, uh, just to make things that are more stable in the atmospheric part of our flight. Uh, next, we have all of our landing gear. So you have, like, rover wheels for cars, you have landing gear for planes, and you have legs for things like lunar landers and stuff. Or mooner, rather. Uh, because we have the mun, not the moon. M-U-N. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, we have thermal protection, which is our heat shields. Uh, we'll approach atmospheric heating on re-entry when we get to that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if we get to that. Oh, we'll I would like to, to see what we'll happens. We'll find out what it is on the yeah. way up, actually. Okay. <laughs> should uh, um, should uh, Mike start slapping down some parts yet? So this is all the things like your solar panels and batteries, mm. just to make sure that your craft has power. Then okay. We have communication, which won't really matter right now. Communication is more if we're building unmanned stuff or satellites, and we want to keep in touch with them so we can control them. After that is all of your science parts. These are more for career mm -hmm. uh, or for science mode. Um, so you can unlock more stuff by doing research on different celestial bodies. Uh, then we have cargo. This is deployable stuff. So you can pack cargo containers with like work lights and equipment and How many hot dogs can whatnot. you fit inside of the rocket? Like <laughs> uh, There is a mod called Kerbal Inventory System, which adds a ton more parts, and one of the things is a pack of tacos, a six-pack <laughs> of Corona, and a golf club. <laughs> oh, um, man, I wish we had that. We just filled the rocket with tacos. Why didn't we think about this? Tacos and booze. I did not... But we should have filled it with booze! What are we thinking? <laughs> Quick, how to how, get him to download that. How quickly can we get that in here? We have yeah, to make a, a new mod. Right in here. Come let's on, get a new mod. Let's time. do it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I don't know if KIS is even updated to this version and modding this game can oh. be kind of a nightmare when you get to a bunch of them. Damn. We can pretend there's booze in the rocket then. We'll call it the whiskey uh, rocket. The utility, we have uh, top to bottom we have convertitrons which let you mine on other worlds with drills and then you can turn it into fuel on the fly so you can refuel on other planets. Uh, we've got our lights, we've got the drills, um, we have ladders, we have launch escape systems, we have crew compartments, more ladders, we have radial flags that you can attach if you want to decal up the rocket, uh, and we have firework launchers. Um, oh, and parachutes. Most importantly, parachutes. Most we important. <laughs> um, okay. Which also made me think, I kind of want to slightly change the rules of the challenge. It's not every time Mike explodes. I'll take uh -uh. a shot for every Kerbal that he kills. <laughs> oh, I don't know how many... I, I'm not sure that either of those things will save you. So, uh... uh. Um, and yes, Casper Denier, uh, the V2 rocket did use a, uh... Basically a hyper-distilled vodka. Um, to fly. <laughs> These Kerbals are screwed. They're very... These poor creatures. All right, you wanna get so to start. Yep. Let's get you to space. Not gonna go to the moon yet. We're just gonna get you. Let's to space. start with you know. Take it easy. Yeah. Start with space. Just yeah. get into orbit. Okay. So first things first, pick a cockpit for us right. to use, whichever All one right. you like. All right. Hold on. Let me let me look through. Yeah. Let me look through. So cockpit. Where would that be under? That would be under uh just. That would be at the very top option under pods. Okay, that's just pods. Okay, let's see. Uh, so there's the spherical ones, which are the first three, which are based on the Russian uh, Vostok spacecraft. Uh, there's like a fighter jet cockpit, which is the Mark I cockpit, which is more so used for planes, but it can be used for this. Uh, we have the Mark I command pod, which is like the Mercury capsule. 
uh, which is uh, the first uh, manned American uh, craft in space. Um, we've got some landers. We've got the Mark 1-3, which is the triangular white one. Uh, it's basically like the Apollo capsule. Bunch of options. I picked the Mark 1 inline cockpit because it looks the most like an Among Us. <laughs> of course I you like would. <laughs> you bastard. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm here for it. Listen, we're here for entertainment, not for actual... <laughs> this isn't actual rocket success. science. I mean... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay, so first thing we'll notice is on the front of this, it's very flat, which means yep. it is not aerodynamic. <laughs> Are you no. sure? So let's go what, ahead what and go aerodynamic. I mean, we could attempt to put this on the launch pad, right? I mean, we could. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing yeah, some aerodynamic. Is... Okay, so we got to yep. get it, get this, get this boy some wings and shit. Uh, so if we go down to the aerodynamics tab, let's go ahead and find a nose cone we like. There's a couple types. There's one that's kind of blunt, one that's kind of pointy. Let's Whatever see, nose cones, nose cones. Okay, I see nose cones. Uh, I like this nose cone. Give him big schnoz. And then when you find it, you can slap it right on the top. Hold on. Okay. You'll you'll see the green dots. Mm -hmm. Those. Green there we dots. go. I got I got it up there. Oh, it's got there a little go. hat. It's a little friend. It looks like a little gnome. Oh, he sent a gnome to space. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about my bird whistle. <laughs> my bird whistle. Hold on, let's buttons. let's make this guy huge. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, let's go big. This uh, you can go very big here. Compensation rocket, got it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very tall. <laughs> okay, so from there, we're the way I kind of work is from the end back. So, for example, we want to start with the. Uh, Oh, also, I noticed you were moving around the pod while trying to uh, connect it to the nose cone that was sort of like the ghost or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll notice when you hover over the nose cone, it's green. When you hover over the pod, it and the nose cone are green. That is it means they're pod. connected. Yep, the pod is the root part. So if you grab it, everything that will move with it. Yeah, I was moving it just now. I can see that everything's moving with it, which is good. Yeah. Cool. Um... So now we've got a nose cone on our pod. Uh, we need to put some parachutes on this. So okay. if we go to utility, which is at the bottom uh, of our little blue menu on the left, there's <laughs> Joe some radio. Joe points out, you're going to have a visibility problem. Okay, I see radial <laughs> mount parachute. A little uh, bit. Mark it's okay. five parachute. Um, Mark 16 so, XL parachute. We don't need parachutes. What so, are you talking about, Newt? Look, look, there's a budget. Works. You just need to aim up. Yeah. The, the, the point is to go up, parachutes. not down. <laughs> what about the rectangular parachutes? <laughs> Pointy end go up, flamey end go down. That's all you need. Rocket science. <laughs> um, there's those rectangular parachutes with the, uh, the dashed lines on them. Those are your radial parachutes. There's the orange ones, which are drogue chutes, which can open at faster speeds, but don't slow you down that much. And then there's the blue ones, which open at slower speeds, but are like your proper safety landing parachutes. Okay. Really optimistic, dude. <laughs> so you could just slap those on the sides if you just click one and like hover it over the cone or the body of yeah. the uh, the cockpit or whatever. Or you can press X and it will use your symmetry tool. And it okay. will start radially uh, applying them around whatever you're hovering over. Um, JH77Sly is curious if you can scale the pod, if that Scale I'm the prod on the bro that's... rocket, apparently. Uh, so, <laughs> default, no. Um, this is a 1.25 meter pod, and this is a 1.875 uh, meter nose gun. Uh, but you can use mods like Tweak Scale, uh, or Tweakable Everything, um, to resize things. But I wanted to leave this vanilla, uh, or vanilla adjacent, as far as non-visual. Cool, cool, okay. Just mm -hmm. so that if... Uh, if we decide to open this up a little bit and let other people hop into the world, then they can also join. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Currently, it'll uh, just stay Mike and I. Hey, Newt, I wanted to ask, if I grab something but I want to discard it, uh, how do I do that? Uh, you just click and drag it back to the uh, left and place it into the, uh, we'll call it the tool bench, I guess, um, where you're grabbing parts from. Just click oh, it okay. into there. Oh, okay. Cool. Or just press delete on your keyboard. Oh, interesting. Okay. Gotcha. Plastic Rarity okay. says $5 Dono to make it as gnome-like as you possibly can. 
Hey, if you're willing to throw money at us, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta ask Mike. Mike is yeah. the designer, so yeah. Mike is our rocket expert tonight. So, um, uh, you know, I God help us all. I'm not much of an expert. I'm just, your, I'm just the guinea pig. Um, <laughs> We're gonna pretend that. No, what do you want, Rarity? Make yeah. it as gnome-like as possible. Sure. <laughs> get, look, it's got a little gnome hat. It's got a head. It's got two ears right here. Oh yeah, they donated, so now we're all, you're <laughs> obligated to gnome this bitch up. Here, hold on. Let's let's make these ears a little higher up. Here we go. If you want to get really silly with it, and remember, you can <laughs> grab. So, grab one of those parachutes you put on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on. And then uh, once got you it. have it, like once you have it clicked. Go ahead and delete it. Just one of them. Okay, so now it's just, he's got one. Now grab the other one, mm -hmm. and then, you know, have it hovered on the side where you want to put it. But don't okay. click to place it. Just, like, have it, you know, there, ready to go. Now press C, and that will turn on your uh, snapping, so it snaps, like, perfectly flat to the surface. Okay, and then hold on. Press, and then press X one time. And now you're on symmetry mode. You can see it down on the bottom left, that little like yellow symbol or whatever. Oh damn, no, no, uh, he's, he's, he doesn't need symmetry mode. He has like a keen eye for these things. <laughs> What's symmetry mode? Okay. No. I see, I see that we got a bunch of them here. There we go. I say symmetry node is a So there we crutch. go, we got a bunch right here. Yeah. Oh, he's got a little gnomey bushy hair. <laughs> it's his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Mio wants to know if you can paint the top red. <laughs> oh no! Uh, so so mm, you can paint it orange, actually. Okay. I, I need like, it. Uh, to make right, it look like right a traffic cone. On it, and then okay. you can paint it uh, the Soya's color. Oh, right there's there. gray and orange. There you go. Um, that's. Yep. Am I able to like customize it, or is this all I have? Uh, not without mods, and we don't. None of the paint mods are working with the current version of the game. Gotcha. Okay, well, this is what we're settling on. Sorry, we can. <laughs> best we can do is orange. <laughs> Let's see. Plus, the rarity uh, says, "Give it a beard." I am not asking, and donated two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, hold on. Here you go. Now it's got like a little beard down there. There you go. Sure. That oh is, that's God. quality oh rocket God. design right there. Why don't we design rockets like this, actually? We should be design. we should be uh, sending more aesthetic things to space. <laughs> People hey, love- zoom out? I've already forgotten. Uh, hold shift and scroll. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, cool. I'm looking at a few parts real quick to try and figure out how to increase the gnomification. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly looking death trap. Do you get to do you get to name the ship before it? You do get to name the ship. Top so do we call screen. it? Do we call it David? Or I called it the Pancake Express, but I'll go ahead and name it okay. David. <laughs> Pancake Express might be when we do uh, the a short stack <laughs> for a rocket. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have. Uh, some aerodynamics taken care of. We have some parachutes taken care of. Uh, next, we need to add a heat shield, if we can. All so right, where do I go for that? Which section that'll be under is thermal? The... That'll be the little fire. Thermal, symbol. okay. On the Let's top see. six things you can see are your heat shields. Uh, so they go smallest to largest. It's a big one. Okay, does it go like right here? Yep, it is. Oh, God, you're going for the inflatable. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right I cannot. You want. I cannot. No, I no, no. 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 Just no. Follow your okay. instincts, Mike. Go with your instincts, Mike. Yeah. That was the first one I grabbed. Okay. Uh, Let's right just go follow there. your dreams, right Mike. Click on it. Yeah. You're going to have a couple buttons. Click inflate heat shield, and you'll see how big it gets. <laughs> this looks amazing. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Let's give him a little mushroom to live in. <laughs> this little mushroom home. <laughs> Oh my God. This is perfect. I'd my say main, this should be launch deployed. <laughs> my main concern currently is this is going to be so unstable on Rian. <laughs> this is going to be a disaster. It's no, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. 
Don't worry, we're just only spending about ten billion dollars on it. It's fine. Yeah, you know, it's it's fine. Well, if if NASA just exactly. wants to fuck around and find out if it doesn't work, let the, let the taxpayers worry about yeah. it. Yeah. If you want to know exactly how much it is, it has an active price counter on the bottom left. Oh, okay. For exactly yeah. how much it costs. How how this much is, are we going right now? I see eight thousand one hundred ninety-five. That's that's all it costs so far. It'll start going up. Oh wow, this is a discount the rocket. rocket going. Yeah. The rocket oh, we're not up. even to the rocket itself yet. Oh, wonderful. Discount, <laughs> discount rocket is a good band name. It is. <laughs> Jib Job says, uh, "I fear for Newt's liver." Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, this I ship is mostly going to be the joke ship that we start with. We'll try to do something a little more serious after this guy. Will we? I'm being completely Maybe. serious. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> this is the joke <laughs> ship? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So we got the heat shield on. Uh, what do you recommend we go for next? Uh, we need a little bit of electrical generation on board. Uh, so okay. Let me go to the electric. Solar panels on here. You have a solar, lot panels. Of solar panels. Lots of different sizes, lots of different shapes. All Plastic right. Plastic Verity is see. pleased with the beard-like shape of that inflatable. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Pleased but not appeased. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Solar panels. I'm. All, let's see. Uh, I'm not really seeing. I'm only seeing like a solar array. Um, I see yeah, like. So there's there's the solar array, then all sorry sorry photovalic panels. Oh, okay. Uh, is what they are called, but all of those are solar panels, with the exception of the PB Nook radioisotope thermoelectric generator. Uh, that's basically just a. That's a phrase. Standalone generator. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, thermoelectric okay. generator. It's the same thing that's on the Curiosity <laughs> rover. It's basically a fuel rod encased in boiling water, uh, or not boiling water, but it's uh, encased in a. Uh, uh, thermal I like this. I like uh, this one. Power. But, but please don't give Mike nukes. <laughs> give Mike like nukes. Give Mike nukes. We want a Wait, rocket. <laughs> we want a nuclear po powered Kovacs. I grabbed oh, you, the. Ra you, you like the RTG? <laughs> I sh I went with that one. Okay. Uh, we can't attach it to the bottom of the heat shield because we need to attach decouplers and stuff there. But we can attach uh, it on the sides of things. You can attach it like on the underside of the nose cone on the sticky. The here we go. Ring. That's a good idea. Shit. <laughs> 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 uh, notice this what is that um. Cost. This is a normal a normal rocket. Yep. Oh wow, <laughs> the cost. Oh no, look at the money. It's almost at two hundred thousand now. I know. <laughs> right, right on the glass. Yeah, I'm gonna, That's I'm gonna pretend, idea. I'm gonna pretend that Newt is the one inside of the capsule. <laughs> this is a rocket ship to launch Newt into space. Let's see if he survives or not. <laughs> this is here we go. The there we go. There was one tiny this. Newt in there. there. <laughs> I was very concerned. It's okay. It's okay. We're d we're doing animal testing first. Newt, get in the rocket. There we go. Hold on. I put it on the hat. <laughs> That's great. There we go. They're on the hat. Definitely where those belong. Yep. Yep. <laughs> definitely aerodynamic. <laughs> Perfectly. <laughs> We're attaching the nuclear fuel rods to the outside. That's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> 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 no, put it back. It's so it's it's the These fuck off rods. Are expensive. <laughs> yep. It's the fuck off rods, so that uh, everybody knows. Don't mess with him. This newt is armed and dangerous. Yes. So, so I like the Aerotrain's response. Nuclear. Good news. We found the wreck. Bad news. We can't get within five miles of it. <laughs> <laughs> Cinnamon asks, where are you going in space? Hopefully up. Space? What are you talking about? Space? space is step one. Like, <laughs> the current goal is up. Maybe <laughs> 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 left? <laughs> I don't know. Left's kind of ambitious. Let's stick with up. Uh, we'll see if it even goes that way, that direction. Let's just, let's Mike, just aim for <laughs> space word. <laughs> Instead of ground word. <laughs> Listen, I should just be working at NASA right now. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> this man's an expert. No, nah, you're too good for NASA. Go for SpaceX. Oh, yeah. Right. Hell, yeah. Let's go. No. Elon Musk need, needs a new boy. <laughs> <laughs> you be the coffee oh. boy. You got to fetch the coffee from the moon. Uh, so when you have your RTGs all good to go, then we can start moving into uh, a little bit of control. Because... 
Well, nah, this pod has has a uh, uh, reaction wheel built into it. It'll be fine. Uh, okay, if, if so we're gonna grab a decoupler, which is under coupling, which is under the robotic arm. It's sort of two rectangular shapes next to each other. One second. Okay, let me put that back. We're gonna grab a what? A coupler? Uh, we're gonna get a decoupler, uh, which is under the robotic arm. Oh, okay, um, so hold there's, on. There's the robotics, and then there's coupling underneath that. There we go, coupling, okay. And that will let us detach this, uh, so we can get back safely. Excellent. Well, as safely oh, as we can. <laughs> as safely as we reasonably can. Uh, um, Celine Frost says, how much to get a Kerbal named after me to die in one of these horrible things? I don't know. Can you name them? Okay, go for it. million dollars. Baby needs to make a TV series. One million, please. <laughs> and the area right. train says, exposed fuel rods would make that a scramjet. Those were and tested I'm, by the AEC in the 1960s. And I'm going to guess after this, we were going for fuel tanks. Uh, after this, we will start building fuel tanks. Gotcha, um, okay. And sadly, uh, I do not have the draftable viewers mod installed. But if you all would like that, uh, next time we do this, we can make that happen. Well, there's going to be a next oh, time. Oh, God. If, if Newt <laughs> survives somehow after this ordeal, then we'll see. My yeah. goodness, all the thing you grab. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, God. I looked away for a second. What is that? Uh, that is the TD50 decoupler. It is a five meter wide decoupler. That with seems a lot of force behind it. That seems yeah. like it's not in proportion to what he is currently constructing. It's not. No, it's not. It. Um, no, but it does look very aerodynamic. Like the air can just shoot right through the middle of. Yeah, it's it's very convenient. Yeah. It's got the latest in uh, construction technology, where it just floats there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for these little, these little, these little kerbals who are going to die. Um, <laughs> well, it's only a one-person pod, you know. That's fine. Oh, Newt, I'm sure Newt will be fine. <laughs> uh, so we are going to, you know what? For stability's sake, uh, let's go to control uh, or command and control. It's the fourth button. Uh, it's the sort of star shape. It's okay, I got it. Chat's getting very excited about boom juice. Apparently, so, um, yeah. and we are going to grab a reaction wheel. Uh, so there are three types. There's the stripy yellow and black one with the white squares. There's the gray one with the little green bit, and then there's the one on the bottom right. I just grabbed um, the tiny one. This, yep. The tiny one. <laughs> Super Will is asking, yeah. "Where is the gravity?" Don't worry about it. I grabbed the tiny Gravity one. is a suggestion and a state of mind. We are doing rocket science. Gravity is a guideline. Yes. <laughs> we... Einstein can it suck like... it. <laughs> We're doing <laughs> rocket surgery. We don't need gravity. There's gotta be it yeah. on a plaque at NASA somewhere. Yeah. Gravity is just, or is Einstein... just a guideline. Yeah. Or Einstein can suck it. In the bathroom, it's just <laughs> gravity's a On the same time. <laughs> yeah. I want to see what, what is the graffiti at NASA like. <laughs> E um, equals MC suck it. I live I live near JPL actually when the when the latest rover landed on Mars I was at the Krispy Kreme and they had the uh the Mars theme Krispy Kremes in honor of it and, and yeah there was like just a t the entire Krispy Kreme was full of JPL guys. Just a ton of people with like NASA stuff on their body. Wearing NASA clothes. I got to talk one of them up. He thought it was very novel that I worked in cartoons. I thought it was very novel that he put something on Mars. <laughs> I guess it's all about uh, point of my... view. <laughs> yeah. You think uh, this small favorite. guy is going to be good? <laughs> in comparison to this gigantic... <laughs> we will uh... make it work. <laughs> all right. Let's make it happen. All right, where should uh, we let's go? Let's go. Next, we are going for fuel tanks. I All right, awesome. Getting a fuel tank that is about the same width as that uh, heat shield that you grabbed. Okay, so the heat shield. Not, not the heat shield. The up. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The heat shield. Yeah. The inflatable one. <laughs> Orange okay, shield. Okay. Let me About about ten the same meters. Way. It looks like it's ten meters. That's um. That's that's the width, right? Uh, no, the 10 meters inflated. It's uh, 2.5 oh, okay. meters. 2.5 uh, meters? Okay. Let me go ahead and see what I can find that's similar. So actually, if you want, in the part menu, uh, at the very, very top, there's like a search bar. 
Oh, and then sort, search by and then size and mass. Sort by size. Sort by size. And then it'll start with the very tiny things, and then it'll slowly increase in size. Okay. So, let's see. How how much... How big is it again? Uh, it's 2.5 meters. Um, but it, it won't say the size on the actual part. You can just click it and bring it in and see if it approximately lines up. Mm. Michael, quick detour... What is the biggest uh, fuel tank you got in there? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We we gotta uh, spare no expense. Yeah, yeah there we go. Mm. Uh -oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're gonna go. We're you immediately gonna to go to the moon with this one. Yeah. Uh, it is pretty. the tank from the main stage of the Saturn V. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, you, know? you think that's that enough? Is, that. is that enough okay. power? <laughs> we'll, we'll, make to space. we'll make it work. We'll do it. <laughs> Oh, all right. We're gonna that's a, a very we're tall gonna, note. We're going to need to put this guy up. We're going to need a few fuel tanks. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, how many can uh, we we'll stack up this that one? And then we'll put another stage underneath this of a couple more of these. Maybe maybe a tinier yeah. stage to keep it on budget. <laughs> Which yeah, is like a little okay. or thinner stage below the big mm -hmm. stage. <laughs> but now we need an engine. What? Uh, okay. So we need an engine? Engines. What are you talking about? So... Uh, <laughs> so this is a this is a liquid fuel and oxidizer. Uh, <laughs> um, I would probably recommend something nice and big, uh, like that's like not the, big. Like the uh, the Mastodon or maybe the Rhino. Let's go. Let's go for I, the Mastodon. I, I like that name. Yeah, that's um, it's the kind of green one. So kind of green name. one. Um, hold on. I don't see a kind of green one. Jib Jodge um, says this rocket is a crime. Oh, this one? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't look too big, but it's pretty powerful. It's Does it go to the, the bottom powerful. or on the sides? Where do you where do you think we should go? <laughs> I would advise wait, the bottom. <laughs> wait that's, on what the top. I, that's what I would think, but I mean... Maybe on the sides. Maybe for, maybe for chaos. <laughs> no, let's go for the bottom. Um, no, four. You can actually <laughs> right click on that engine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you can see that just like the nose cone where we could change the color of it, it has a few options. You can go to the third one and it'll get rid of all the extra bits uh, that are on the top of it. Oh. And then click on the engine again. And instead of snapping it to the green circle, turn on. <laughs> there you go. Now you can have multiple. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's. Uh... Hold on. Was it like. Oh, it was X. Okay. Here we it's go. It's X to increase. Oh, 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 I like the look of that. Space, there we go. Spacefaring yeah. Wolf's advice is uh, flamey and down. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like a coward's decision. Oh. Yeah. What if flamey end up? Yeah. <laughs> what if I wanted to go right through that atmosphere? What if you went oh, through I, the Earth itself? Uh, and then came out the other side, and that's how you went to space. They're not going to yes, expect that they use, won't see it coming. Space you will use be gravity to your advantage. Yes. Time to the center all of right. the Earth to surprise space. Well, we got some liquid fuel engines all set up. Mm -hmm. um, yep, we got some engines. We got some fuel. You can see at that bar of numbers at the top of your screen. We've got about four thousand seven hundred meters per second of delta V. We need about 7,000 to get to a nice orbit. Uh, okay, so we're going to need to get a few more engines and a few more um, fuel tanks. Yep, so we're going to build another stage below this. So All right. We could just slap a decoupler on the bottom of the fuel tank, but the problem is it'd kind of clip with the engines and wouldn't work too well. So we're going to go to structural, and we're going to sort of build something to go oh, down boy. a little bit. Take like a structural tube or a girder Let's or something. See. Let's just see. to build down a bit. Kaitu Let's says see. flamey this end girder up. girder looks nice. Kaitu says uh, flamey end up is called retros. <laughs> and if you want it to snap to a point while you're looking at a surface, you can hold alt and it will force it to only snap to points. Okay. We got this little girder right here. How's that look? That looks pretty solid. Okay, that'll work. Uh, then we can go to coupling again, and we'll pick another decoupler. All right, let's go back to coupling uh, right here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What was the decoupler I used last time? Should we keep it consistent? 
Uh, we can. Remember, it is sorted by size currently. Okay. Um, um, so it looks like it's what? The bottom right and then one up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Delete. Uh, yeah, we used this one, I believe. Plastic Rarity asks, can you guys slap some cans on a string to this ship and paint Just Married on the side? There we go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, okay, and then we're going to go back to fuel tanks and we're going to grab another. I don't know, this rocket might scream more like Just Divorced. All right, hold on, where are we going? We're going back to... Uh, back to fuel tanks. Gotcha. Is that center? All right, we got to get another one of the big boys, I guess. <laughs> All right. Can it, can it be attached you know to the side? I'm just I, curious I, if that's even possible in this game. I think it's off center, Michael. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mordecai does not approve. He's just pouring himself a drink. <laughs> um, I do actually think that is off center. Oh, God. It is off center. Don't worry. We're going to fix it. We're going to make it work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, oh, there we the, go. It's the girder that's off center. Yeah, the girder's off center. I'm just about going to fix it real quick. Remember, hold alt and it'll uh it'll snap to the circle. Okay, cool. All right, let's there fix this go. real quick. Give me one sec while I align it to that. Uh yeah, that's aligned. Okay. <laughs> Cinnamon Pumpkin says, go. One Divorcee needs a lot of space right now. Phantom Kitten says, Funeral Rocket. Uh, okay. Then go ahead. <laughs> now, looking at that fuel tank you just added at the bottom, hold Alt and click that, and it'll duplicate it. <laughs> and then slap it again onto the bottom. So, like, if you hold Alt and then click it while it's there. So, I like, place it and then hold Alt and click it, and it'll duplicate it. Hold on, I'm holding alt, so I'm holding onto this fuel tank. No, I'm no, like, put alt. it down. Put okay. It down. Then after you put it down and place it. Okay, so wait, now what do I do? Like, now, look, Go ahead and place it back on the rocket where it was. Okay. Now hold alt, then click it. Kaitu asks, is there a casket? Oh, on? okay. <laughs> you want me to just... <laughs> is there a casket? This is the casket. Chad is oh, asking. Goodness. Chad we're, is asking. We're running out of space. It's okay. Uh -huh. We'll be fine. If we want to make more space, look at the lowest like part. Hold shift and click it. And then scroll up. Chad oh, is asking, on. did I just hear pizza time? Let I think that's shift, Mike's uh, phone. Once you grab it and just start scrolling up. This is the highest we can go. Yep. If you hold shift, it grabs the entire thing. And then just click to place. Okay. Okay. There you go. Now this is the highest it can go. Mm. Okay. Now we need an engine that can lift this. Whoo! Okay. So this. we need, like, the highest, like, the, the do, we need one of the biggest engines then, don't Big we? Big boy. Uh, well, I just slapped the biggest engine, just one of them on it, and it cannot lift it. Uh, so instead we're going to use multiple like we did on the stage above it, uh, where we sort of attach them around the sides. Um, okay. Can we do it with a bunch of vectors? Hey, wow, just just vectors slap a ton of engines on it. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just more engines will make it go up better, right? That's how that's how it works. That's a theory. Yeah. Here, like, uh, this um, is how it should work, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, we can do some rocket boosters. <laughs> We can do some boosters. We do. We do still need a liquid engine. Uh, so hold. Don't attach those yet, but keep them. Keep it over to the side. We'll attach those in just a sec. Okay. Those are solid rocket boosters. Those use a different type of fuel, and once they're on, you cannot turn them off. <sighs> okay. Um, they just keep going until they're out of gas. Gotcha. Uh, so let's see. Let's go ahead and grab the same engine that we used just a second ago, the Mastodon. The Mastodon, okay. I'm, um, I'm hoping that, that Mike's computer can handle whatever hell and chaos he throws at it once we launch gotcha. this Gotcha, I got this the Mastodon thing. right here. Yep, and just like you did a second ago, go ahead and get rid of the, uh, the extra bits on top, and then do like six or so of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me go ahead and just... Hold on, wait, 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 wait. One second, let me zoom in real quick. Okay. And it was, uh... That's right. Um... It's 
sorry, but class. And if you want, you can even add one to the center, uh, just like you did that girder earlier. Okay, so just grab one more and just put it or right you, there in this. Oh. You can do that, or you can remember Alt-click on one of the ones you already have to duplicate it. There we go. <laughs> Look at there you go. Trying to teach Michael keyboard shortcuts. <laughs> Just a couple. I'm just giving them the simple ones. We're not getting you know. into like. Yeah, I don't know the keyboard shortcuts for this game, so yeah. <laughs> My uh, computer can handle go. it. It's only at a. It's only at a crisp 73 degrees right now. So looking at the numbers, technically this can get to space, but we want to make sure. So you got that big booster over there, uh, but this we guy. want to be able to ditch that once it's empty so we don't have to carry the weight around so let's mm -hmm. go back to coupling where we got our our stack decouplers okay and we're now going to look for radial decouplers radial this will, decouplers. Things, this will let us throw things off the sides okay radial decoupler i see one there is there any others radial decoupler okay uh where should i place this and halfway up ish. So like here ish. Or like halfway up both of these. Uh halfway up that stage ish. So like about where they meet kinda. So like eh, like around here? Yeah, that'll work. And then which solid rocket booster did you grab? It'll give you its name when you hover over it. We got the Clydesdale. Oh, the big boy. Okay. So you wanna Make sure you place the Clydesdale on the decouplers you just placed. So it's like a little target. You'll see it sort of move differently when it's on it. The name Clydesdale just makes me think of that joke where it's this scrawny nerd sitting at the bar until he sits up and he's totally jacked. Okay. And it's not, based, it's not based on visual. So I know it looks like you're placing it on it, but if you were to place it right now, it'd be attached to a... Uh, to like these to, to things. The, it's based on where your cursor is. So your cursor has to be over, and you saw it just like move up a little bit when it went yeah. over that part. So yep. And then you can place it on there. Okay, so now it's on the couplers. Yeah. Cool, okay. And now we can check our staging and we have more than enough juice to get to orbit if we can fly it well. Well? Uh, I do see some things that will happen that I'm not gonna say yet. Um, yeah. Oh, we want to put some nose cones on these uh, on these boosters just to make them more aerodynamic. All right, let's go to aerodynamics real quick. Let's get some nose cones. Newt, Newt is like no spoilers. <laughs> yeah. No spoilers for the impending doom. <laughs> okay. Uh, so for the boosters. That's the policy at NASA, right? No spoilers. <laughs> Um, so, yep, nose cones on the, uh... On these big on the old boosters. Them, on the top of them, because they're flat. Okay, let me go ahead and find the nose cone I grabbed again. Okay. We need some bigger nose cones. And remember, hold alt to make it snap to the, uh, the green dot. Bruh. <laughs> That doesn't look Good right. Enough. No, I, I'm sure well, that's what it's meant that, for. <laughs> it's a uh, it's aesthetic. That, yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it should look. Yeah. Von Braun, eat your heart out. No, we're gonna get rid of those. <laughs> Aw. Aw. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, are these the only nose cones up here? Uh, there are more nose cones further down. Remember, you're sorting by size. I'm tempted. Oh, that's right. Okay. I'm tempted to start drinking These now. <laughs> mushrooms. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that's a lot of mushrooms. This, that's this not looks a little the phallic. <laughs> looks a little phallic. That looks a little it. gnomic to me. Yeah, <laughs> we're making the big old mushrooms. gnome. Big, big gnome. Real big gnome home. <laughs> big gnome energy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? We'll find out. <laughs> yeah. All right. What else do we need to do before we can get this baby into um into explosion territory? I think Newt needs uh, to pour himself his drink. Is what I yeah. I, uh, have you prepared your shots, Newt? I have one on my uh, side. I have I have a couple right here to my right, mm -hmm. ready to go. 
Um, so we're just going to start with <laughs> making sure that our staging is okay. Uh, so first thing, so your staging is over on the right side, uh, that column of numbers. So like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. Yeah, I so see them over here. So it starts from the bottom and goes up. Okay. So if I look at yours, you can see those rocket boosters on the outside, the solid rocket boosters, will turn on and start going. But mm -hmm. at the same time, the decouplers will fire and they'll be detached. <laughs> Which yeah. You just created missiles. <laughs> <laughs> Which we can do if you want. <laughs> I think I it think won't exactly be very successful. <laughs> just see what happens. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Look, fine. you know, no, you know totally fine. it's only a few let's billion just go, dollars. Let's just go straight out. Yeah. Go ahead and give it a name. We got David, and we got this ship will not be successful. Is the description. <laughs> <laughs> And then go ahead, top right of your screen, hit the big green launch button. Oh boy! Let's okay, go. moment of truth, everybody. Do we uh, do we yeah. get to populate it with Kerbals who are like? Yeah, let's put a Newt inside. Let's, let's there there will be a Kerbal. <laughs> <laughs> there will All be right. a Kerbal on board. Okay. All right. Can we name the Kerbal? Right, guys. <laughs> Can we name the Kerbals? Uh, not without a certain mob. <laughs> ah, damn. Probably. Okay, it just well. in our hearts and minds, we know who it is in that capsule. Sorry, Newt. These Kerbals have made something fantastic. Let's go ahead and launch, and let's, um, mm -hmm. no. Let's see where we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a lovely... Orange juice is life Warning, no control! Um, Keebler in the shuttle. <laughs> this vessel has no remote-controlled or manned command modules. It will not be controllable. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, because, right, I just went out with the only astronaut we had hired. It's okay, hit cancel, and then go up, uh... Top left of your screen, there's a little blue button that looks like an astronaut. Don't you wish that life came with that Real? warning, Mike? Yep. Warning, no control. And then go to astronaut complex on the bottom left. <laughs> it's behind okay. that black menu slightly. And go All right, ahead and so let's... hire everybody. Or hire someone you like. Like, look at their courage to stupidity rating. <laughs> I like, I like... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, this guy's got so much courage but no stupidity. Um, I think we need someone with no courage and all stupidity. Trifon Kerman's looking great. <laughs> You're coming he is with our me. Man. <laughs> and okay. it hires a handful of others alongside. But Trifon Kerman is your one, man. Or one one person is missing. <laughs> what? Oh, that's, <laughs> the person that I, that's the person I have on the pad. <laughs> he saw what was going gotcha. on. He was like, nope. A wall from All right, Lisa. well. All right. Where do I go from here? Uh, top right, exit facility. Okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead, launch. Your man, and now you can launch. <laughs> All right. Let's see Let's how... Let's see this disaster. How the much is this going to burn out that... Mike's computer? <laughs> Some so folks exciting. in the chat will know that uh, we added zero struts to this. <laughs> Watch my computer actually, like, burn up and crash, yeah. Nah, your computer will be fine. This is nothing. Goodness, it's taken a bit to load. Nikki uh, gives uh, four, uh, gives a, I think, Brazilian oh. R dollar uh, and 11. Is that a... Yeah, he says, hi guys, I'm going to sleep I'm now because just... here in Brazil it's a bit late, so I just want to say good night for all you guys. Huh, thank you very much for the donation. Yeah, good night. Yeah, night, night. So if this you looks... zoom out a little Dream bit, of, of successful rockets. Sphere? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That red sphere basically... I'm in it right now, too. So until... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Until we're both outside of it, we won't show up for one another so that we're not clipping together. Okay. Um, so all you have to do is you throttle up with shift and throttle down with control, or you can jump to full throttle with Z and cut throttle with X. Uh, we're definitely not going to full throttle at the start. I, I can already spot a few problems, and I'm a little concerned. I'm seeing a few as well. <laughs> uh -huh. um, you Is can this what T rockets uh, launches are supposed to look like? <laughs> it depends on what country. Um, <laughs> you, can, you can press T to turn on SAS. That'll be your stability control, just to try and keep it straight. Uh -huh. Wow, I have gonna... no idea how this works, so I mean, we'll, um, we'll, we definitely won't be able to keep it straight for 
bit. <laughs> so so there's we have an, no control fins. This is this start. is the this is the lackadaisy stream. We're not keeping anything straight here. You kidding? Yeah. No problem. No. Yeah. No, that's fair. Um <laughs> And if you just want to go for it, if you want to get like a first person view, you can press C and you can sit in the cockpit and watch it all happen from the seat. Oh man. Uh, uh, let's get let's get a good <laughs> yeah. look at the outside before we go inside though. But if you yeah. want to get a nice cinematic shot, you can just zoom out a little bit and then press space bar and it's all in God's hands from there. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well, goodbye, son. <laughs> um. Uh, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his best. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, the computer oh. does not like it. Um. Okay. Nope. Oh. My computer is not having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go. <laughs> The uh -oh. world's first nomstronaut. I don't know if he's We're gonna going make down. it. Uh, quick fire the rest of the rockets. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, How do I do that? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, no, this is incorrect. It's a firing you straight down. Oh, you're, oh no. You're looking at my oh god, we destroyed the launch pad. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh! Oh, there it goes! I see <laughs> boosters flying away. In the <laughs> did, did the curve survive? Did he survive? <laughs> yeah, he survived. Jeez. Wow, he wow, actually lived. Uh, so yeah. Ah. For debug menu, it's under the cheat section. Then make a kerbal. <gasps> you can make kerbals. Thank you so menu. much to Celine, and thank you for the the five Canadian. Much appreciated, oh, and yeah, thank you for thank the you. advice. Um, so. Well, guys, I'd say we had a fun launch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd say that was more of a fireworks show than a launch, but. <laughs> <laughs> kerbals create it kerbals. Was cool, we can make kerbals. Pretty entertaining, whatever it was. Simon Senevieu, Viv. Viv uh, says, a NASA computer sent people to the moon with a few kilobytes of storage. Modern computers can't simulate sending pe someone to the moon to space. <laughs> All right, let's go back to vehicle assembly. <laughs> All right, Newt. Newt, I... Uh, if anyone would like a, uh, a very cool little fun fact, by the way, mm -hmm. about the NASA computer. Um, yeah. It was made before modern memory storage was a thing. So the way it oh. stored memory for the... Uh, the central computer for the Apollo missions was it was literally woven fabric of copper wire. Oh no. Uh, that was woven and folded into programs. The uh, seamstresses uh, from <laughs> retirement homes all around uh, uh, the, the Cape. Uh, Goodness. Around Cape Canaveral were basically conscripted in mass to literally weave the code for Apollo into massive quilts of copper wire. Wow. The way we got to space once upon a time is truly insane. And if we ever meet the aliens, one of the first things that we should talk to about with them is like, let me tell you about Apollo. <laughs> Just sit down and horrify them. <laughs> they could be like, you did what? With how? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Anyway, Newt. I don't think that was a successful rocket, but uh, I mean, you're the expert here. <laughs> so, uh. Depends on your definition of success. Mm hmm. You got your shot glass. I thought it was rather spectacular. You got your shot glass, buddy? Yeah, I already took a drink. No, I'm gonna <laughs> say right. I got mine. Because. <laughs> here I go. Mm. But, um. I thought the rule was if a Kerbal died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, Semantics. <laughs> uh, Somebody, yeah. his his soul died when when he saw those rockets launch off without him. <laughs> <laughs> that man he just breathed a sigh of relief. <laughs> he got a little smarter that day. 
Here, hold on. I need to get another cone on this guy. I like that you destroyed the launch pad. That was pretty funny. <laughs> no, not that cone. <laughs> just... not that... Yeah. Crater left on the ground. Diesel Rock says, reminds me of those humans are space, or space orcs stories those I used cone. to hear about. Oh, God, I love humans are space orcs. Humans are space orcs. Is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What do I want to? What do I, I want to add? So why did those rockets just go off? Well, they weren't attached. So they flew off because. <laughs> well, they were attached. Uh, okay. But they flew off because the decoupler went off at the same time as the engines did. So oh. now you can see on the bottom right that you have the solid rocket boosters first. Then mm -hmm. next time you hit spacebar, the decouplers will go to detach them. Okay. Then after that, whatever engine that is, if you hover over it, it turns green. So it should be the engines at the bottom. If so, if you scroll down your perspective uh, and then hover over that, okay, uh, if you yeah. hover over in the uh, in the staging menu, yep. So that one will like the center one and then the outer ones. Cool. Uh, you can actually drag that one into the others so that it will uh, they will all ignite at the same time. Okay, how do I do that? Like, just drag it just into click, the others? Just drag it up. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so, just, uh... Okay. So, like, in the, uh, in the staging menu on the right, that vertical oh, okay. bar of orange and blue or whatever, the appropriate so just engine, drag you can this just click and up here? drag it into the one above it. Yep. And there, now they'll all go off at the same time. Oh, okay, cool. And then, after that, we have a decoupler. Um... Oh yeah, you can see a bunch of <laughs> granular data, like what's the thrust to weight ratio of a specific stage, and how long does it take, and all of that jazz. Fun. <laughs> uh, your thrust to weight ratio uh, <laughs> is basically, if it is one, then you can hover like a helicopter, because you are able to push yourself up exactly as much as you weigh. If it is over one, then you can go up. If it is less than one, you cannot go up. Gotcha. Um, so let's see. After those engines, we have a what looks like a decoupler. What decoupler is that? Let's make sure we're <laughs> going in the right order. So bottom to top. Uh, okay. We've got our solid rocket boosters. We've got all of the decouplers holding those on. We've got our liquid engines at the bottom. Um, we've got, yeah, then... these guys here. Uh, what's next? We have... Oh, okay, this guy. Good stuff. And then after that, we should have the engines above him. Yep, yep. Uh, and then after that, we decouple, and then we have our parachutes. So now, we do have functional staging. Okay. So if I look at our thrust-to-weight ratio... Okay, so it's looking like the solid rocket boosters on their own won't be able to lift us straight up uh, because they don't have enough thrust. So, what we can do is we can make them go at the same time as the liquid engines. Okay. So, what you can do is you can drag uh, the liquid engines. Um, rather than dragging the uh, ra rather than dragging the engines individually down, you can just click on the orange bar that they're under. Mm -hmm. So, what number is that? That's number four. Five or number four? Yep. And just drag that hole number four down until it's under the rocket boosters so like right here yep and there you go now you can light those and then light the other engines and then everything will work together and be great okay cool are we ready to try another launch we are ready to try another launch uh also i am going to add oh i didn't add to uh a crewmate. to my guy if you want to press alt f12 uh this will let us you can actually leave that facility if you want uh, because the delightful member of chat reminded me we can create Kerbals. Uh, so you can uh, leave excellent. that facility and then press Alt F12. Okay. Click on Cheats on the left side. Kerbals. Kerbals. And then uh, Create. Then give them a name. You can mess with their stats. Who in chat wants to be on a... <laughs> on Mike's rocket. Oh, well, one's got to go to the person who gave us this tip. I think that was Celine, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Celine's a good name for someone who's going to jump in a rocket aimed at the moon. All right. Is that is it spelled like this? C-E-L-I-N-E? I think it was with an S. Yeah. S-E-L-E-N-E. 
Miss Dion is not with us. All right, male <laughs> or female? Celine is a feminine name, but I yes. don't want to don't want to assume. Uh, uh, you know, let's let's make them a tourist. Yes. Oh goodness. Yes. <laughs> yeah, level. Um, actually, if you make them a tourist, I don't know if they'll be allowed to fly it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it'll. Let okay, them. then they're an engineer. <laughs> They are an engineer. Their personality is uh, minimal courage, absolute stupidity. Yep. I love it. The only people who would work for us. A veteran or a badass. Neither. <laughs> Sorry, I stepped away for a second to go get some beer. All right, we yeah. got our uh, purple. Yes, that's going to yes, be. Maya, I uh, actually uh, made me one, uh, so I have Newt Kerman flying mine. <laughs> All right. So do I have to go to the astronaut com complex to pick that one out? Uh, nope. If you uh, close the crew menu and uh, if you hit create, sorry. Um, I already hit, did, create. Did you hit create. Okay, so if you uh, leave the astronaut menu and then go back to it, they should be in the cockpit. Celine Kerman, there they are. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Into the gray Celine. says, "Put the helmet on me and strap me to the outside." <laughs> Let's go, Celine. You ready? Celine says, "Female." Thank you. All right. All right. Cool. All right. We ready to launch? <laughs> Let's do it. Go ahead and click save. Warning: click No control. Button. Are you sure there's no control? Oh, you need to drag them into the uh, into the seat. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, uh, on the uh, the yep. There you go. Okay, they're in the okay. seat already. Now you're good. Yeah. So on the uh, the top left there, uh, when you hit the uh, words, the um, oh weird, why did? Oh shoot, the launch pad is still broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't automatically reset. Didn't the janitor One get on that? Gotta... <laughs> Let me hop out to the space center real quick and repair the launch pad. <laughs> Plus, Aquarius says, "Let's fucking gnome." <laughs> Let's see if you can fix the launch pad in time. I'm already on my way. Aaron Kennedy says, never trust a cat to build a rocket. Yeah. Uh, Super Will is pointing out that I don't believe you added parachutes. Uh, yes, yes we did. Oh, you yes, did? We did. All oh, right, oh, oh no, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, 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 oh this oh, already does oh, not seem oh, good. Oh, oh. Quick, just go, oh. just go. Space, space, no. space. Space, go to space! Go, you can still! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! There it goes! Pod race. <laughs> Catastrophic failure. Uh, I wonder why. Just go real fast. Revert to launch. <laughs> If can chat for Celine. Wait. <laughs> Do you think that Celine died? Uh, are you next of kin? Got a nasty case of rug burn. I mean, uh, <laughs> grass. What, what are you a cop? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. As soon, as, soon as, as, soon as, it, as soon as we're up, I'm just gonna hit spacebar. Uh, Z, Z to throttle up all the way. Oh god, you turned it into a ballistic missile. <laughs> That's this is this is absolutely fine. This is intentional, folks. It's part of the process. This is this is what it's like at um Nobody panic. It's all part of the shape. This, this this is just what it's like at SpaceX. Yes. <laughs> Look, Elon Musk knows what he's doing, okay? Don't question him. He's worth billions. Look at his stock market his stock portfolio. Do you think this man doesn't right, know what, what he's do, doing? What do we, what do we want to do, Newt? Do we want to <laughs> revert again, or do we want to just go back to vehicle reassembly? Nah, this thing can fly. This thing can fly. Just as soon as like <laughs> as soon as you hit revert to launch, just Z space and then Z space in space. space. Z in time. space twice. Those, you got it. Yeah. Because All right. It'll turn on both sets of engines, and it'll start going up. Also press T so that it keeps it kind of straight. Do I hit uh, Z? Do I hold Z or do I like just press it? You just gotta tap it. You just gotta tap it once. Okay, do I hold T when I press that? <laughs> oh no, nope, the joke's in once. chat. Oh no. Oh my god. 
You said Aaron. I, I, I do. Aaron Kennedy says Challenger Two, Electric Boogaloo. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Son of you. <laughs> Son of you says, "Is this the North Korean <laughs> space program?" <laughs> Chat can't really see it, but Newt has successfully launched like three times with this rocket while Michael has I'm actu <laughs> actually not only that, I am throttling down to like only hovering in the air so that he can catch up mid flight. <laughs> He's trying his best. He's doing it. He's, doing He's getting it. there. He's getting there. Kaitu says, Welcome to Cape Cadaver. Cape Cadaver. How do I um, how do I check my fuel to see when I need to dispose of the rockets below me? Uh, on one hand, when they turn off. On the other, on the left side. <laughs> okay, when they turn off, how do I how do I uh, discard them? Uh, that'll be spacebar. Spacebar. Okay. Stage them. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get my beer shot prepared right now. And he's doing really well right now, though. I mean, you're going up. That's true. Yeah, I think he's got yes. this. Look, I, I'm, I'm gonna just prepare here, just in case. If we can just yeah, break just... out of the stratosphere, I think I'll be pleased. I'm just gonna cut the engine and, uh, and fall down past you. I mean, hey, you're about to break the cloud layer. Chad is asking what happens if Michael crashes into Newt. Uh, to take two shots. Explode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh hey, Mike! Look out! Look out your side! You're passing me at very high speed. Where are you? <laughs> He's going. Oh, I just, oh you I passed him. Falling past you. <laughs> Mike, oh, I see ya. There you are. <laughs> hey, I see you. Mike, go up. There we go. Now I'm gonna try and catch up. He's winning. He's winning the race to the moon. <laughs> oh my god. Surely this is space by now. <laughs> No, oh, God, no, not not, even not yet. If if you want to see how close you are to space, you see your altitude ticking up at the top center of the screen. Uh oh, I'm going at an angle. Uh. Remember, turn on T. Turn on T. You don't have stability control on. I'm pressing T. There you go. There you go. On. Kaitu says the duct tape seems to be holding this time. <laughs> uh, be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Into the gray says, that's impressive. Only balloons could do that. <laughs> Man, you got a lot of fuel in those rockets. This is sufficient to take a gnome to space. And then some. So your solid rocket boosters are about to run out. Okay, I'm waiting for them to... Whenever they give up. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh oh! Bruh. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Um, no. is that supposed to happen? It's okay. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. So um. the uh, the <laughs> boosters. Um, well, they uh, they Note. got hurt. Note. This is nor. This is fine. Everything's normal, right? Salim will live, right? <laughs> they donated a lot of money oh. to the cause. We can't have Salim die. Uh, oh, no. Right <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Celine! Celine! It's okay, Celine! Okay. You'll be okay! No, don't, don't worry about it! Just hang. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Just, just press C. I want to see what this looks like from Celine's perspective. Yeah, this is totally normal and okay. Yep. I'd be pissing my pants right now. <laughs> this is why Celine, we do animal testing. this is what testing. it looks like in your point of view right now. <laughs> hey, has he made it to space yet? <laughs> uh, no. No. Uh, no. Actually, no, your apoapsis... Hello, chicken. It's only about 39 kilometers. You're about to start falling again. Chick, chicken. Yeah, you made, it, you, made it, you made it almost three quarters of the way to space. Wow! Ooh. Congratulations. Yeah, pretty, this is big. Pretty wow. good. Pretty good, honestly. Yeah. It's a lot better than not at all. You die. <laughs> well, enjoy the ride while it lasts. Uh, oh, you know chicken. what? Best way to put that, uh, Mike, on the bottom right of your screen, when you hover over Celine's portrait, mm -hmm. uh huh, 
Uh, hit the EVA button. <laughs> I can see them freaking out. Oh, oh, oh no! Can you can you expand that? Because we can't see it from uh, it, it's like covered up. Can you make it bigger? <laughs> oh, they don't look very happy. Where are they? It's at the bottom right. They are screaming. Yeah, the chat can only see like the upper <laughs> oh, half no. of Celine's face, but that is something. Oh no. no! I was gonna say Mike can hit the EVA button and she can climb out of the pot. <laughs> she might want to at this point. I, I I just got back. Why is it just a cone falling? <laughs> this is uh, fine. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I pressed the EVA button. Didn't seem to do anything. It, Celine is oh, refusing. Then, oh wait, wait! Click it again, and I bet a little error message will come up under your altitude saying this hatch the hatch is obstructed. I Hold bet on, the RTGs like... are in the way of the oh, door. <laughs> Well, obviously, we need to get rid of those. Jettison them. Uh, we cannot jettison them. I just them. decided to inflate oh. the heat shield. <laughs> oh, well, that'll be an air break, that's for sure. <laughs> She'll but just God, softly flow down. Reception. Oh, what's going on with her now? There seems to be oh, something happening with her. Yeah, what's she doing now? Yeah, what the curb will do. Oh, it's just very dark because <laughs> you just put her under a massive umbrella. <laughs> She does not look happy. There she is. Mary She's Poppins there. route back to, back to Earth. <laughs> Celine the experimental intercontinental missile. Thank you, Slapman. <laughs> is this our Simon? So Simon also I, said should that. Should I fast forward yeah. and just see the journey? You can. Uh, it's with the uh, comma and period keys on the uh, bottom right of your keyboard. <laughs> When you're in atmosphere, uh, you can fast forward up to four times real time. It's beautiful. Oh no. By the way, I don't think that's Celine. I think Celine died two crashes ago. <laughs> oh. It's because we have some spare Celines. There they go. They're on their way down. <laughs> uh, that parachute does not seem to be doing the job just yet. I think the air shield's doing more for you. Celine oh, yeah, says, oh no, the stack of plutonium right outside my door has finally become a problem. <laughs> it <laughs> melted the lock shut. <laughs> Call the lock picking lawyer. <laughs> Call the lock picking lawyer to pick the uranium fuel cell. <laughs> I have some pie. I'm gonna enjoy that pie while we watch Celine fall to her death. Not necessarily. I have a tub have of Have hope. You're an optimistic guy, Newt. Oh, that is a very cinematic view right now. <laughs> Look at that. Making my way downtown. <laughs> <laughs> God, just wait till, uh... Celine screaming in the cockpit, meanwhile Mike just quietly humming to himself. <laughs> if you want to detach the heat shield, if you want to, you can right-click and hit jettison. Uh, <laughs> you do not have to, though. Can you I zoom right in on I, the, uh, I'm right-clicking it, nothing's just, happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see the thumbnail in the corner, but... Yeah, can you zoom in uh, on sad... her? Can we get Sadly, a... Sadly, <laughs> we, we can't make her bigger. Oh. Uh, unfortunately. He is stuck to that size. Oh, oh uh -oh. no. Oh, oh no. She's being, she's being tossed. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> she. <laughs> oh, oh no. And now outside of the. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Celine, oh, you okay? The... Celine? Oh, no. what the... oh, oh no. Oh no. Multiplayer bug. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. She's You're stuck. seeing Celine from a different timeline. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, that, you know, that's relativity for you. <laughs> Bro, are they just stuck up here forever? Because it's, <laughs> it's not going down anymore. I'm on four <laughs> times speed. It is. It's just going very, very slow. 
God, um, she's gonna die of like hunger and like malnutrition. Of the terror and the piss. You can right click on one of the parachutes and click cut parachute if you want to fall faster. No, we need to go faster, Celine. This is taking too long. Time is money, Celine. How do I? Hold on. I like how we're three attempts to fly in and Mike's already broken causality. <laughs> the laws of physics are meant to be broken. And you can right click the, uh. You should be able to right click the. inflatable heat shield and detach it. So nope. while it's green. Yeah. Nope, nothing? Weird. Nope, not going. Coming up on a real soft landing. Hey. Textbook. <laughs> Beautiful. You didn't. You didn't make it to the moon, but you made it to Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Debatably similar. But... And there you go. Uh, now you can recover uh, if you hover over where your altitude is. Okay, hold on. Uh, how do I do that? Where, where do I go? Top, top center of your screen where your altitude is. You can hover over that, and it'll give you a... Uh, like over the numbers. Uh, over should, the numbers. Recover vessel. It'll, it'll let you recover it, or you can just go to Space Center and leave her out in the mountains. She'll be fine. It's fine. She's got, like, a granola bar. That's all you need, right? She's got family. They'll look for her. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? At least she survived. We only had enough Celine. in the... We only had enough in the budget to search... For, to make a rocket. Not to pay for search and rescue. Celine, it's all okay. You managed to have a successful, um... Well, survival... Are you sure? I don't. I think the bears are gonna get her. Mm. And she landed in the middle of the wilderness. Um, I'm not sure she's coming back. Newt, <laughs> take a shot. <laughs> I got mine. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, that's good. That's good beer. I would take a shot, but I um. I don't drink alcohol. Do you so... have syrup? <laughs> I don't. I do have syrup in the fridge. I could grab it. Oh, go for it! Week. Yeah, I've get... seen you shotgun syrup before. <laughs> Please do not hurt yourself. Get that shot <laughs> glass, Han. We okay. sent you those shot glasses for a reason. Well, well, Newt, you um, you said that this ship could theoretically get to space. It's just I um probably need to do a better job of making sure that it maintains itself, right? Uh, honestly, it could get to space entirely as it is. All it needs is kind of to be piloted a bit <laughs> like it, basically. Like here, so... A better pilot? <laughs> no, 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 not a better pilot. It just needs to be piloted as opposed to just going straight up. Um... So, for example, we can... <laughs> what are you left? Oh, Edward Wan says, I would like to sacrifice my life and soul for you guys. Are you saying you want to ride in our rocket ship? <laughs> Donate to ride in our rocket ship. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, Simon he says, look, I'm, I'm all for yeah. not dying, but I just don't see how that's more important than not taking too long. That's the kind of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the 2020s way. Yeah. We like that energy. You're yeah. going in the finance department. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, it's for the economy, okay? For the sake of the economy, cut the parachute. Okay, I think these are attached to the couplers now. Oh, I moved the couplers a little bit. Gotcha. Um, I think they're on the couplers. So okay. best way you can test is if you just hover over one of the couplers, like if you position your camera where you can see one and keep your mouse over it, does both it and the coupler turn green? Or it and the uh, and the booster turn green? Jib Job says, pay us to ride the rocket. We won't pay you. That's called an advanced internship, Jib. <laughs> <laughs> an internship with extra steps. Pie the Cyber Di Guy donates $1. Apparently he wants to go to space, or something approximating it. 
<laughs> something approximating space. <laughs> we pay our astronauts. How many how many kerbals can we cram in the <laughs> in the cockpit there? Uh, there is an airliner cabin where we can put sixteen in there. <gasps> we can have passengers. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just because it's like a tourist, it's like a tourist bus. <laughs> Send a bus to space. Why can't can we um can we duct tape a to, Tesla like, to the rocket ship? Put in a request that we fill the cabin with kerbals. <laughs> I mean, we've had a roughly a proof of concept here, right? I mean, time to Surely this can be improved upon. Are you saying this technically? Tickets, yeah. <laughs> Look, technically this can get to space, which means we can make money off of it. We yeah. got to grow that IPO, okay? The investors are waiting. Right, our shareholders. Yeah. Are, okay, uh, it looks important. like it's connected. Some, the most I'm important. I'm, I've got the decoupler here, and it looks like it's connected. Yep, yep. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah, we're good. I think. <laughs> All right. What are some other adjustments you think we could make? Um, balloons. Put those nose cones back on. Oh well, yeah. The nose cones could help. Uh, having some control fins would probably be a good idea. Okay. Let me get the nose cone first. Let, well, we were doing these ones before. These looked. These were pretty good. Um, and what? Some some uh, some wings. Um, and some aerodynamic wings specifically for, um, steering, specifically small ones for the bottom, uh, picture like a dart. Uh, okay. so sticking out, like if you picture sort of a, a cart, a more cartoony rocket. Like smaller so than like these? That. Yeah, that, that could be okay. That, or maybe even a little bit larger than those considering how big the rocket is. <laughs> okay. Um... You see, I, I, what did I grab? A basic fin? Joe jo Plain do, jo Plain did two dollars and says, "Okay, I, I can grab fly, one of those. I'm pilot, but how resistant are you to concussive damage?" So these uh, are these good, you think? <laughs> yeah, you can do things like that. Plastic Rarity donates two dollars okay, and says, "Please dedicate this launch to my three sons." Yeah, where, where do we want to put these? Okay. Oh, here, we've got see. enough I'm space. We can to... put the three sons in there. Yeah. I'm going to make basically an airliner that I'm <laughs> to space real quick that I'm going to fill with people who are <laughs> donating and I'm going to give it to Mike. <laughs> okay. um, Excellent. That's one, of the things, that's one of the things you can do in this mod, actually, is you can build a craft and then send it to the other person <clears throat> live. <laughs> Where do we want to put these um, wings? Do we want to put them on the rockets or on, like, just the um, boosters uh, or what? Putting some on the boosters would actually be really good because then the weight of the wings will pull the boosters away and will keep them from colliding with the rocket once it's uh, once it's going. Just make sure to put the wings near the bottom. Gotcha. This looking good, you think? Yeah. That looks okay to me. All right. This music is very calming. It's a good time. It is. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off our stream music since this is chimed in. I don't want them crossing. Sorry for anybody who was driven crazy by that. And and plastic, don't worry. I will. I will dedicate this launch to your three sons. <laughs> your three sons are unfortunately not going to make it through the journey, though. <laughs> it's a good thing you have four sons. Clyde, Clyde, Bryant, and Caleb, um, they're not going to see through the end of this. <laughs> the oldest and youngest are not allowed to know Bryant exists? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's some soap opera stuff right there. <laughs> Agent Red says, this feels like the equivalent of building with building Ikea furniture, just with more explosions and potential death on the docket. It's Listen, this is, this is about as pleasant as shopping at Ikea. This is a good time. Yeah. Do they serve you meatballs like, yeah. in the rocket? <laughs> Wait, we got room to fucking put one more. <laughs> we need more rockets, obviously. Look. We got room to put, like, one more The real more problem is, is that there's not enough explosives. Let's improve this. Hold do on. we have a, uh, get... do we have a warp drive that we can install? Hold on, we could get rid of this one liquid there fuel engine and add another. 
How many <laughs> nuclear bombs can we attach to this thing? There is what? a nuclear reactor engine. Uh, the nerve engine. Well, why aren't we using weird. that? <laughs> it's very, very weak. Yeah, it's meant um, for, uh... Well... Meant for, it's like, meant for, like, stuff. very... L yeah, it's meant for very long, uh, long-term burns. Well, obviously, we need more of them so that they're not weak, right? We gotta go nuclear. Right, Newt? I mean, we can certainly try. <laughs> I think Fable just wants to drink more. Fable does want to drink more. I got really good beer. I got craft beer for this event. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Listen, man. All right. So TD50. Yes, hold so on. If I click on this and press Alt, it'll copy it. Or wait, no. If you place it and then press Alt and then click it, it will duplicate it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um. Did it crash? <laughs> The program oh, gave up. The program. <laughs> I'll switch it to new screen just totally for just now. Was <laughs> not copied it or whatever, but you still had symmetry mode on. So, when you went to place it, you accidentally hovered over the girder for just a moment, and it tried to duplicate it eight times. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm reopening the game. The game crashed. <laughs> Beautiful. Hope you all haven't right. lost all your all your work. Nah, it's it's auto save. Do whatever last thing you launch. <laughs> Mike, whenever you're ready, go ahead and put your stream back up, and I'll go back to your screen. Oh, it's gonna take a minute. It's gotta load all these uh, oh, patches and mods and stuff. Oh no. All right, we'll just. We'll just so yeah, we're just we gonna be looking at new questions. screen for like at least two minutes. All right, we can I've answer some Mike's, questions in the meantime. I'm slapping uh, together Mike's uh, passenger liner ah. <laughs> that he can try and fly to space. Okay. <laughs> yes, hello, babies. My my birds are. If you hear squawking, that's my uh, those are my parrots. They're trying to go to bed. Enzo, what are you doing? Enzo. Actually. While we have this time, while this is all loading on my end, I'm actually going to be right back and go check on Cricket. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be right back. Uh, are there any questions for uh, Tracy and me? Uh, I think we've mostly been answering them through text, so... Yeah. I didn't take any down. Uh, actually, I think I did earlier. But I think you guys might have gotten them all. Hey, what's up, Enzo? You wanna... What are you doing? Little bird. Somebody earlier did ask if you were excited for KSB2. Uh, I am unbelievably excited for KSB2. Uh, I am so looking forward to that. What's that one going to be like? I assume better graphics? Uh, it, it will be far better graphics. It's built in Unreal 5. Oh. Um, it's going to have multiple solar systems, multiple... Uh, like intergalactic exploration, it rather than just the one solar system, it will have full on like planetary colonization and wow, fucking uh, uh, what's the term? Um, base building, like jet, like generation ships and space building, and yeah, I, I, don't think, know. I think the lack of base building in this game is the reason I haven't really bothered with it. A, uh, Again, there are mods for it. a parrot is climbing like on me. Kerbal. I believe it. What is an Enzo? Uh, Do you want to be part of the stream? <laughs> like, you can get a Kerbal planetary base systems or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see. Enzo, what is it? I still gotta try Satisfactory. You should show me around that at some you point. Know. Oh, do you want tickles? God, I love Satisfactory. Enzo. Yes. Uh, let's see. What other questions were there? Uh, what are you drinking, Newt? Uh, what am I drinking tonight? Currently next to me, uh, I have put away, over the course of the stream so far, uh, just, uh, two beers, um, and two shots of, uh, Jose Cuervo, um, and now I am yes, lightly I'm sipping good. on a 200 proof, uh, Johnny Walker Blue Label Whiskey. Ooh, that sounds really good. Yes, Enzo, I know you want to play. 
she's she very much wants to be involved. Again, yeah. everyone, please drink. Oh God, that's strong. Everyone, please drink responsibly. <laughs> Uh, Newt is just trying to make himself flammable for when stuff goes really wrong. Yeah, he wants to go out faster to yeah. lessen his suffering. I'm uh, drinking this as well as taking uh, lots of popcorn kernels so that mm. if the rocket explodes, it's exciting for everyone on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that chat likes my parrot noises. <laughs> parrot noises are always good. Yes, yeah, Enjo. You're my girl. She's having I a good time. back, though. Eric Kennedy says, "If Kenobi that, that was a convenient voice, Mike, because the parrot just crawled on me, and here you come in like a pirate." <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Enzo does Aaron want asks, destruction. Yes. It, yeah. If kinetic energy can be converted into thermal energy, how hard would you have? Would I have to punch a chicken to cook it? Somebody did that on YouTube. It didn't. <laughs> it took a lot of tries. <laughs> and a lot, a lot of, of tries and a lot of time. How many chickens, oh my God. though? Oh, he probably went through quite a few chickens in testing. It basically, the best way I can describe it from what I remember is it cooked the chicken. It was, fundamentally speaking, edible, and he did eat it on the stream. It was also pulped. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Chat wants to know how Cricket's doing. Cricket's doing okay. She's hiding right now. She okay. just wants to be alone. Okay. I understandable. I also would want to hide if I had dealt with all that. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes, Enzo. I know. Chicka jug. I know. Baby. Um. Michael, My got... ship is gone. <laughs> Wait, is it? Oh Michael, no! You had a, a fan named Nikki that wanted you to say hi to them. Hello, Nikki. How are you? <laughs> You chose the wrong stream to pop in on. We're just we're just <laughs> destroying spaceships. Yeah, that was sometime like two hours ago that they asked Good that. So. Lord. Oh well Newt. they're gone now. Probably. <laughs> Newt, you, that's a lot of that's a lot of rockets, it's Newt. Gone. Oh no. Your ship? It disappeared? You have to build it from scratch My now. Ship. My ship is gone. Well, maybe it now's the did. opportunity to make the pancake rocket. We is must the rebuild. Is yeah. the ship we're talking about Hellerby? Because I'm going to build. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, we're Mike, going to use uh, for yes. reasons unrelated to certain uh, requests from the fandom and guns pointed to my head. I need some lines from you and Sung Wan. Uh, just don't worry about it. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Um, feel free to send over whatever lines you need, and um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll um, yeah. We'll is is this going to have to be that. on the Lackadaisy only fans? <laughs> no, it'll just all go to the shame folder. I see. I I uh, will not ask him to do it, Mike. You you you, you two will have to ask him to do it. <laughs> it will be your fault. I I I claim no involvement in this whatsoever. <laughs> all right, Mike. Whenever you're ready to share your screen. Oh, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, it. I'm not. Hold You're on. not? Okay. Oh, wait, am I? Like, Are yeah, you? I am. It's a good okay. opportunity for Mike to prove what he's learned. Show us what he knows. Yeah, yeah. All right, Mike, yeah, we got to go. do the pancake rocket, so. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we need to get a, we need to get a pod. Mm -hmm. So let's see, what's a good pod? Um, <laughs> here we go. Here's a, here's, here's a little pod. Thanks. There you go. That's going to be good. Wait, actually. Hey. Size. Yes, I, I see nice you, pod. Isaac. You are a good girl. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, you're doing okay. the Lunar Lander pod. Okay. Some right. some part yeah, of Isaac's to... soul is is whimpering right now. She's named after Newton, <laughs> after all. <laughs> all right. What was the next step after the pod? That was like, was it the parachutes? Uh, usually after the pod, I do parachutes that they can land in, or land with. Okay, yeah, so let me, let me see, that's not where I'm supposed to be, I think. Arrow, is it, hold on, where were parachutes under? They are under utility, at the bottom. Utility, okay, cool. Raylo asks, are there any projects you guys are working on besides Lackadaisy? Ah, oh yeah, lots. Uh, like, I try to limit the, the things that I'm doing just so I don't have too many distractions, but I am... Doing some animation for Farfetched, which just had a, a teaser come out. 
So, what's the uh, the the YouTube channel, Mike? Is it is it? It's just called Farfetch Show. I yeah, believe Far- they made a yeah. channel dedicated to it. Yeah, you can go see yep. the new teaser. It's it's real pretty. I haven't had the chance yet, but I will over the weekend. Yeah, there's actually a little oh, bit of my animation good. in there. If you see the the mysterious something or other, that's by me. And Newt, I know you're working on a few things. Yeah, um, I actually do stuff for Farfetch'd as well. Um, as well as uh, I do some environment art for a comic called Cashmere Sky, which is made by a friend of mine by the name of Jared Hudson, uh, which I, you know, definitely go give him a read and a follow on Twitter. He mm-hmm. puts a ton of work into that comic. Uh, anyone here ever played Dungeons & Dragons? $2 donation by Gornsx. Uh, yes, I just passed the year anniversary of the longest campaign I've ever been a part of. Uh, we play every Monday. Um, yes, I love D&D. This, this, uh, is, a, five, this is a five stream full of nerds. It's pretty sure almost it all takes of one to D&D. know one. <laughs> you, you, did you start reading the list? Damn, you got me there. The list. Oh, the list, the thing you sent me. Yes, I did read that. I love it. Uh, and I'm going to take things from it. Yes. I'm going oh, to no. try to. Isaac, why do you sing so mournfully? She knows. Yes, Nico. I know Nico. She knows the horrors these kerbals will face. What? What's Trying to find a good place to put these parachutes. What is it, Enzo? Enzo's chuckling. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> They're not hard. They're hardly connected, but yeah. <laughs> so there is a parachute that you are able to slap onto the top. Mm. Uh, that I think I saw it. It was itself. this one, right? There's like, or not this one. Um, there's another, I think. Where was that? Uh. Where was it? Was like a one sh- one parachute thing. Was it this thing? No. Wait. <laughs> Plastic rarity says, oh, "Yo, are those birds sponsored? <laughs> Feel free to <laughs> donate to my Kofi to sponsor yep, my birds." You just birds. have to remove the. Yeah. Uh... All right, there Enzo, you, you ready? Yeah, you yeah there we go. Going in your cage. Okay. All right, cool. All right, um, and the next is uh, was it? Um, Next, you probably want a heat shield for when you're coming back. Yeah, let's see. Let me find a... So heat shield is under thermal. Under thermal, yep. Okay. Let's see. Heat shield, heat shield, heat shield. Uh, let's, not get, let's not get something quite as big. That looks fine. I might go a little bigger. Okay. If we want um, this to be the the slightly serious one, quote unquote, <laughs> slightly bigger. Yeah. How's this one? It's a little big. Okay, maybe maybe too big, but I will leave it up to your discretion. <laughs> nah, this one. That one looks fair to me. That looks pretty fair. Okay. All right. Um. Huh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. What is all this text on the bottom? Uh, oh, just... I don't remember what that says. You can zoom in on it. There's lots of uh, Easter eggs in the textures in this game. For example, on the launch clamps, mm-hmm. if you zoom in uh, to the inside of one of the pipes, then there's that robot from Futurama and the caption, give him the clamps. 07109. <laughs> okay, it's just a bunch of numbers, and it says um, heat shield. Cool. Oh, shame. I'm sure the numbers are like a date or something. Yeah. All right. Or something important. Uh, okay, then after heat shield, uh, do I need to get... Um, what, what, what is it? Uh, uh, I, 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 do need, I do need to connect some fuel tanks and engines, um, but should I like get um, a girder first or something? You, first thing you'll want to do is get a decoupler between your heat shield and the rest of your rocket. Because what you have right here is what's going to touch down on the ground when you're coming back. Yeah. So you want to be able to ditch everything underneath it once everything is said and done. Okay, that's what I figure. Uh, This looks a little big. Let's see. 
Um, radial decoupler. No, we don't need that. Um, okay, that looks fair. There you go. Okay. Um, and then let's get... Um, do you want a fuel tank or an engine? Uh, we'd want to start with a fuel tank to fuel said engine. Yeah, true. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, let's not go with anything too big now. So n none <laughs> <laughs> um, so nothing none too big, huh? Uh, <laughs> so you would you say that's just Resisting the right size? The correct, correct size. <laughs> no, we're going to get rid of it. Don't I, worry, I was I'm trying joking. to resist <laughs> saying stuff like that. <laughs> Okay, let's get a let's get a more serious one. Um, that's too small. Um, I think. Let's see. What about this guy? Seems fairly decently sized. Mm -hmm. It's a respectable sized rocket. Yeah, that looks respectable to me. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel, Newt? Newt, that looks okay. That'll work. And let's then you can see. slap an engine on the bottom of that. Okay, let's see. So let's see, what kind of engine do we want? Uh, that's a so that's a, one point, <laughs> that's a 1.25 meter tank. So engines like the Aerospike, the Reliant, the Swivel. Oh, the Aerospike oh, is... is cool. Remember, hold Alt uh, to make sure that it snaps onto the point. Yeah. Aerospike engines are really cool because they may t they maintain high efficiency thrust at all altitudes. Ooh. Uh, I could get into the science of why. I I uh, mean I'm personally curious. <laughs> I mean maybe people here want to hear some science. I mean yeah. go for it. Some science while uh, Mike displays the laws of physics and sensibility. Uh, so basically, um. If you think of a standard rocket engine, uh, there will be the bell at the end, which is literally called the engine bell. It is the combustion chamber where the hot gases that come out of the back of the rocket expand and then are directed backwards. Some of these engine bells are very constricted if they're for sea level launches, uh, and some of them are wide open if they're meant to be ignited uh, outside of the atmosphere where the air pressure is very, very low. And these different shapes offer different performance, cost, and benefits based on fuel efficiency and thrust based on the ambient air pressure. Uh, so a tighter choked engine bell uh, will have better performance and thrust uh, and fuel efficiency at uh, higher air pressures at lower altitudes. And a wider engine bell will have lower thrust uh, but higher efficiency uh, and better thrust performance at higher altitudes and lower air pressures. Um... So, for example, if you look at, like, uh, if you look at the stages on an Apollo, for example, if you, like, Google pictures of the Apollo, um, of the Apollo 5, you'll notice the F1 engines at the bottom have these huge, you know, long engine bells that are very tight. Uh, and then if you look at the uh, Wolfhound engine at the very top, the one that pushed the command pod, it's one engine bell that's almost the size of the rest of the, the ship. And it's really big and really wide. Uh, because it's optimized for vacuum. Uh, because the gases expand uh, expand differently. Um, however, an aerospike is special because it's an inverse engine bell. Uh, it's basically a negative cutout of an engine bell. So when the thrust uh, when the thrust uh, when the exhaust comes out around the perimeter of it, pointed into the point at the end. Uh, the force of the thrust versus the air pressure allows it to expand naturally through all stages of flight, allowing it to be perfectly efficient at all altitudes. Uh, aerospikes were supposed to be the future of rocketry engineering. Uh, a few companies developed them. Uh, Boeing had a design for them that kind of started to pan out. A uh, couple other companies did but they never really went anywhere because they're really complex and really expensive. Hmm. Also, Newt, your name I... has gone full circle. <laughs> making... Wait, what? Why? People are making Newtonian <laughs> jokes. 
<laughs> oh, realizing that's where your name caught, came yeah. from. Yeah, the newt, the newt yeah, part, fun, fun. the little, the little amphibian was actually more after the fact. <laughs> yeah, fun fact, you guys. The uh, the non so online, my moniker has been non Newtonian for years. Uh, and then one day, uh, a gentleman by the name I, Babakluk was a dude, right? I'm no sure. idea. I think Babakluk was a dude. Uh, Babakluk, an individual of the Lackadaisy fandom, a number of years ago, coined Newt for short, as in instead of non Newtonian, just Newt. Uh, which was totally cool. Um. Little did I know the can of worms that that was opening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because, um... Newt explaining the magic spell that turned him <laughs> into a newt. <laughs> he turned me into a newt. <laughs> I got better. <laughs> but No, you didn't. <laughs> no, me getting turned into the newt was better. <laughs> but, um... But, um... But no, people started calling me Newt, and then eventually it became the Amphibian, and then I was just... I was Newt from then on. Uh, technically, almost everywhere, my m moniker, like the official name of my accounts and stuff, is still non-Newtonian. On Discord, on Steam, on basically on Twitter. Well, Twitter became Newtworks when I rebranded everything. Uh, but in most cases, it's, uh, it's non-Newtonian. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, so I guess now <laughs> it's it like Knox said, it's come full circle. Now people are calling me Newtonian. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, it's a good name question. for you, though. Honestly. <laughs> oh no, I love the adorable little amphibian. Like I said, it's like you're, you're you're our personal Kermit, and that's so good. <laughs> I, I like the contrast with his real size. Yes, Nude is actually a <laughs> yeah. Fun <laughs> fun fact, folks. I am six four. Uh, for those yeah, you're a tall away. lad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have over two feet on me. When we met on person, I was, you were like, oh, you are short. And I'm like, I told you. <laughs> I still feel... I, I've mentioned it before. Uh, I'm not sure if on streams, but I've mentioned it before in calls. Uh, I have gotten to meet Tracy in person one time before, which is sad. Uh, but I've gotten to meet Tracy in person one time before. Um, and one of the first comments I gave her was, you're much shorter than I even anticipated. <laughs> I am gremlin size, yes. The people running this project are very tiny. <laughs> Except for Newt, who is, who is a big, who's a big. Yes. We, we, we have to have somebody on the crew who can, like, grab the cans of beans on the top of the shelf. I can't get up there. Somebody who can change light bulbs. <laughs> I've accepted my Put it out there that we 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 need more explosions. <laughs> we do need yeah, more we explosions. Do, okay. yeah. We do need some more explosions. Let's. Yeah. Yeah. I was flossing, yeah. so I uh, didn't oh, okay. do much. But um. <laughs> On like, stream. Like, like, I'm not sure if you meant your mouth or, or dancing. Like the... <laughs> Just in there. <laughs> Dancing. So new <laughs> because of the way this fuel engine is. Do I use a girder to like expand this too, or do I use something else? Nope, so you still you still slap a decoupler on it, uh, and then it will give you a flat surface to work from. Okay. Let me go get another decoupler. Um, it'll build, it'll build a little shroud around it and everything to work with. Or hold on, yeah, coupling. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. So let me grab another decoupler. Yes, Nico. Not not that. Not that one. The, the peanut gallery behind the me. <laughs> they can climb the walls. The TD12. Let's get another TD12. There we go. Okay. All right. Whoa. Cool. All you right. Didn't even know it was there. There's fuel tank, and then the engine. Okay, and decoupler. Let's get another fuel tank in. Don't forget, you can alt click to copy them. I think that's what it was. Yes. Yes. There we go. That just copied everything. Cool. Cool. Okay, so now I've got nice. those. Taller rocket. I, I believe the chat is asking about the birds again. Maybe. Yeah, um, so it is cold tonight, and I can't let my parrots that normally live outside in the aviary to be outdoors tonight without uh, 
it uh, affecting their health. So they are inside, and that's why you're hearing a few more beeps and boops than usual. Those are my uh, my kikes. That's a. Uh, this looking good. That's, um, this looking good, guys. That is a. Uh, that's a lot of rocket. This looking, this looking good. <laughs> yeah. This, um... So if you look at the numbers <laughs> on the bottom right, are any of under the TWR, are any of them less less than one? Mike, any... you on, built a lighthouse. I'll <laughs> light something up. I know. Okay, hold on. Which numbers am I looking at? The ones under here under uh, Engineer Redux? Yep, so you're looking at TWR. That's your thrust to weight ratio. What's yep, the I'm... number? The numbers aren't good. Uh... <laughs> are people down there flailing around in panic at what you brought? Are they or trying or to so the stop numbers you? Are, the <laughs> numbers are 1.97 parentheses 3.44 and then 1.23 parentheses 1.69. Um, that'll that'll get off the ground. <laughs> Is that our criteria? Get off the Here, ground. Here, let's save everyone some trouble. Let's get rid of those. Um, all right. <laughs> so we've doubled these two. Um, we should probably get some. Um, what are they? Some. Uh, should we? Should we uh, hold on. Where? Where was it? Uh, should we get some fuel boosters? I feel like this is the Cave Johnson theory of rocket science. Yeah, I know. I don't know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> doing a science, obviously. Here we go. This Let's just idea. do more science until it works. Obviously. Wait, I didn't. Uh, hold on. Uh, what the are they called again? Button? Yeah, the decouplers. That's what I'm looking for. Isaac, go to sleep. The concern beeps. She knows. Or wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, what the fuck are they? Uh, the things that will... Are they just decouplers? The things that take radial, off... Radial decouplers. Yeah. Radial decouplers. Okay, these things. Decouplers do just that. They uncouple. They're okay. like they they're like divorce lawyers, but faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and take. Uh, but about as expensive. Oh, not, not that. Maybe not cheaper that. even. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is not a great idea. Uh, let's get a. Let's see, where are the aerodynamics? Very small nose cone. Yeah, those are tiny. <laughs> those are too big. More mushrooms. Could always okay. go for more mushrooms. Nose cone is on sideways. Yeah, that's where that belongs. That's that's, that's how that goes. <laughs> that's how that, that goes. That is how that do. <laughs> okay, hold on. Why? <laughs> Why is it doing it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Classic rarity. Go to sleep if you're tired. <laughs> There will yeah, be tuck, a recording. Tuck your three sons there into will, bed. There will be a VOD. <laughs> tuck your three sons into bed. Yeah. Okay. And, and um, then and please educate them on where or what the sun is. <laughs> do you need an engine on the bottom? I do. Um, so let's see. Um, oh, that that is a thing. We've got the decoupler. So let's get a... Mm, let's see. What kind of engine do we want to have for the bottom? Um, what is that? This literally looks like a missile. I know. <laughs> oh, no. I know. It does, doesn't it? I, I mean, mean, if we if we want to be a little silly with it, you can get something like the Mammoth, which is the biggest engine in the game. The Mammoth. 
we want to get oh, to the moon and we want to get to the moon dump fast. Dump truck. They got a like dump a truck. Big dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's wearing yeah. pants that don't fit. <laughs> what do we got for the thrust to weight ratio? Like, on I call this one the centaur. <laughs> Well, it's 0 0.24 for TWR. <laughs> It'll be the one at the uh, the very bottom. That's what it says, yeah. 0 0.24. There's no way in hell it should be, like, <laughs> 24. I, I think it's because there's a, uh, there, there's a motor between the uh, the mammoth and the... Uh, th so there's an aerospike on top of the mammoth, so the mammoth doesn't actually get oh. access to the fuel. Oh, and the aerospike is blocked. Yeah. So if you click and remove the mammoth, and then click and remove the arrow spike that it's attached to. What the decoupler? Oh, there's a oh there's a decoupler there. Okay. Uh, you need to give the mammoth fuel. That's why. The mammoth oh. needs gas. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. There's no fuel. Okay. So let's go ahead and add. Um, this is giving a whole new meaning to kicker stage. There we go. Now it's eleven point twenty. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That'll get us off the ground. <laughs> I, I love I I appreciate the sarcasm. <laughs> hey, it'll get us off the ground. That is not a lie. <laughs> what happens after that? Is... <laughs> it'll get us off. The I ground feel like I need to get quickly. rid of. I feel like I need to get rid of one of these fuel tanks. No. Mm, no, okay. you don't need to get rid of things. You need okay. to add things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see Stop then. Being uncharacteristically practical. <laughs> okay, let's you know let's let's take practicality and th throw that shit out the window. <laughs> Who needs that uh, stuff? <laughs> Cave Johnson yeah. science. J.K. Simmons. All right, let's go. Um, okay, let's get some some more uh, little 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 uh, little engines in here. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Max we got Powell. The liquid fuel engine there. Max, Max Powell asks you, Mike. Uh, which, Whoa! Whoa! Oh, 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 oh! I think that might be the you correct can... amount of rocket. <laughs> 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 oh, no. I think that this uh, thing constructed itself for you. <laughs> You know what? Uh, ship it. Ship it. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Did they compute? What? Let's what? go. <laughs> Where'd it go? It's loading. Oh, no. <laughs> it's loading right now. Max Powell asked, Michael's favorite Rocky moment? Maybe this one. <laughs> oh, the game might be about to crash. No. It'll be okay. It'll, don't, 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 don't click anything. anything. Don't, don't click anything. Let it think. Okay, it's frozen. Whoa, okay, whoa, there it whoa. goes. Wait. Oh, my computer's fan just went. <laughs> uh, fast forward time a bit if you wanted a uh, daytime. <laughs> Into the gray says aliens can't catch this six directional rocket. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Time. All right. Are we ready? Let's, Are uh, we ready for this? We gotta do a countdown. First. Countdown. Ten. Right. Nine. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six. Seven, six five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's go. <laughs> Computer go burr. I think they survived. How? <laughs> oh no, EVA. Oh. I don't know. They don't look very. They look like their souls escaped with those rockets. <laughs> Traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Rarity, that was for your sons. Yes, they're traumatized. They... Yeah. That's the face of a traumatized person. I. <laughs> All right, Newt. Sitting there, crushed under. Newt. Rocket hardware. Take a shot. 
Oh god, what are we? <laughs> what are you up to? I got tequila. I'm taking tequila now. This rocket was conflicted as to where was he even going. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Six man this duct taped together. What happens next? Um. All right. Jet Field Kerman is ready for the next assignment. Yeah, buddy. He, he watched that from the uh, from the observation room and, and now just like pissed himself. Knowing what's coming next. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's that's good tequila. All right, let's um. Hold on. Oh my god, this guy got completely fucked. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a damage report on the Kerbals themselves. Like, how many organs do they have left? How the hell did all this happen? Okay, <laughs> I just got rid of all those. Um. <laughs> So let's um. Let's do oh, something else. wait, we forgot. Flamey and go down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, that's right. The first rule. Is yeah. Astro. First rule of Astro go up is flame go down. <laughs> the boys at JPL should be so proud. There we go. No. <laughs> Why not? But I think it needs a fuel tank, right? It does, yeah. Well, that, that is a fuel tank. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, but there's the, there's the thing. Now, it what happens if tank. you, if you like, put them okay. in parallel to each other? What if it's, like, a four mammoths pointing down? Here, there's already a fuel engine right here and then a decoupler. Um, okay. So let's, let's do a fuel tank. Let's see. What's this one? This one's nice and... Look at Fitz. Looks like it looks like a, they got a nice little skirt on or a kilt. Um, mm -hmm. so then, okay, let's go it's ahead. It's a nice pleating on. on it. Yeah, it's a very yeah. stylish rocket now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, that's a little too small. We gotta get a little little bigger. Um, so let's see. Not that. There we go. There we go. That's looking a little good. We're putting Mike now in charge of getting the the James Webb Space Telescope. Two right. up into space. We need a sequel to oh, the James right. Webb Spe Telescope. Can Mike manage? No. Um, we need to point the, the telescope in the other direction so we can see the other side of, of the universe. Wait, actually, look. They got like a little... Here, look. This is their head. They got a little upper body. They got like a skirt. And then there's their legs. They're ready yeah. to go. <laughs> this is a respectable rocket. It's it's ready it's ready to ready to dance. It looks, it looks like R two D two. Yeah, I think that's I think that's good. <laughs> send that send that to the launch pad, Mike. I think How that's you feeling, ready. Newt? Yeah. How you feeling? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hold on, hold on, hold on. we gotta. I don't know. Well, we, got, we gotta we gotta make a new curveball to go in here. So how do I do the? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Alt F twelve. Is to open the cheat menu. F twelve. All right. Let's let's set up a curveball. All right. And then create. All right, let's go ahead and create a Kerbal. We're going to name this one. Um, what, um, what does the chat think? Hey, chat, let's name the Kerbal. Chat, you got a name you want to give this Kerbal? Freckle. It's going to take a gonna take a minute because the uh, chat... <laughs> name it Freckle. Appears freckle, quite Kerbal. <laughs> well, Freckle, unfortunately, won't make it very far. Um, you could okay. do Calvin Kerbal. <laughs> Calvin Kerbal. <laughs> <laughs> or Calvin Kerman, sorry. We could. We could do Calvin. The let's go weird for, not, let's go the for weird Calvin. KSP knockoff let's go for to Calvin. Calvin they're they're just a pilot. Um I can't change their experience. They've got about middle range courage. I'd say eh, maybe like 30% courage. <laughs> and their stupidity is about like I don't think I don't know. Freckle doesn't come across as being very stupid, just very um He is smart like, enough to know that everything is a bad idea, but not smart enough to stop himself. I'd say about average courage and stupidity. He doesn't have enough uh <laughs> enough uh, constitution to stand up to his cousin who told him to get in the rocket, so Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's say about they're about even on courage and stupidity. Maybe a little more I'm gonna I'm gonna share right. this uh, uh I'm gonna share this wonderful drawing that Nick just provided us for chat. One second. I like these name suggestions coming from there. chat. <laughs> There you go. Here you go, Chad. There's what. Let's go ahead and 
Let's see. Yeah, Calvin <laughs> is on the crew. Um, That's a delightful little we rocket. Thank yeah. you, Nick. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a lighthouse with big old. Oh, it looks like looks like Frife and Kerman is gonna be the one doing uh doing this oh one. Oh my god. <laughs> Calvin doesn't <laughs> want to <laughs> He's on his way to do big, important things. Did someone do that fan art? Dad, that was Nick. Yeah, that was Nick. Oh, good. Thanks, Nick. That's all oh, I Nick. could see. <laughs> He's got big pants. It's big boy pants. All right. <laughs> well, ready for a successful launch? Uh, One would hope. Speed, Calvin. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, Rooney's been in chat asking what the hell uh, new. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. Look at them. They're standing up. Oh yeah, look. look he can stand up and everything. They're tall. This is, should definitely work. Look, it's it's so much more conservative. This is like surely this will punch its way to space. Let's go. It's going up. It's going up. They're ready to go to space. Yes. To space we go. Okay. All right, Freckle. Can you see your speed on the blue circle down there? Blue circle uh, on the left and or the, right? And then little on, on the very bottom, blue circle at the bottom center of your screen. That's your nav ball. That's how you're pointing. Do you see the green numbers ticking up at the top of that blue circle? Yeah. Okay. When that hits about 200, uh, press D for me on your keyboard. Just for a second or two. Just to turn over to the side. Like 10, 15 degrees. Uh -oh. oh, you ran out of uh, gas. Oh, whoop! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> um, is that all I had? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we we were running out of money. The government was asking questions, and we had to provide them with answers ASAP. Okay. Uh, it's okay. The 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 congressional <laughs> committee. Uh, we we have a lot of possibilities for answers. The congressional committee is going to come to you later, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> That's what you get for using bootleg rocket fuel. Yeah. Why did Captain Keho ever give us shit? It was just, just Gatorade. <laughs> it, just, it was just bad oh God, blast in the fossil. I'm sending it to the server. Uh, yeah. I was just sent some wonderful fan art. Gimme. Carnival. Dreaming chat. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is from pla uh, plastic, plastic, <laughs> plastic rarity on a. On thanks, nice. thanks, plastic rarity. Thanks. Yeah, so accurate. Much. Hold on, let me check it out. <laughs> the little, the little new clinging to his hair. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's great. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, chat saying you know, we should have kept the tall rocket. I think these ones actually survived. You know, they, they it's a really survive. that was a yeah, gentle so parachute down. Gentle landing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You can just get out and walk to base too. <laughs> yeah. Let them explore this strange new world. Aster Five says maybe it's because you didn't count down. You're right. That was the reason. <laughs> Animatoli says, uh, asks, uh, who put tequila in the rocket tanks? Uh, well. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Here I go. Here I go. I leave. <laughs> On an alien planet. <laughs> That's the only place we could be. Well, you're still walking, so. <laughs> you wow, you have all your limbs. Amazing. <laughs> I, I could just imagine the. He just uh, walks off into the sunset. <laughs> or, 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 he, or he just walks into the. He just walks into the cafeteria and orders a coffee. You know what? Better than expected. Silently screaming inside of his. <laughs> uh, recover the vessel. <laughs> All right. God, there's there's a terrifying so in the KSP lore, 
Which there is lore to this. There's game. lore. There's lore. I bet. There's lore. In the KSP lore, uh, any time like you crash and then just click the revert flight button, the Kerbals remember the previous experience. <laughs> so like, they're trapped. There, in there's the comics of them like. You know, waking up, getting all ready for the flight, like doing all final prep, all the stuff you would expect an astronaut to do, get in the rocket, fly, horrible explosion, like crash, instant cut to black, you know, fire explosion, and then just wake up in their bed as the alarm clock goes off. Like, <laughs> and then the scientist just walks in, ah, first attempt didn't go so well, eh? Yeah, you'll get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> Edge of tomorrow, uh, Kerbal no. Space Program Edition. But everyone just knows and is cool with it. <laughs> That's the real advanced technology. Kind of. Kind of want to rebuild uh, David. Mm. Michelangelo's David? Yes, no. obviously. David the gnome. <laughs> the right, very, right. The gnome David. rocket. The very first ship we made. Does it have autosave, dude? Uh, it autosaves when you take them out to the pad. So we should have, uh, should have a version of David somewhere, right? There should be a uh, version of... <laughs> well, it auto-saves your last craft on the pad. Oh, never mind then. Advanced mode. Are you ready for advanced mode? No. <laughs> I, have, I have not explained advanced tweakables or the advanced mode options for good reason. <laughs> That. We just switched the editor, so now there's just two different editor rooms, it looks like. Uh, so, well, there's the space plane hangar, and there's the vehicle assembly building. Space plane hangar is for building things like shuttles and jets and whatnot. I could try and let you fly a space shuttle, if you want. I have a space shuttle lying around. Uh, if you want to try and fly, fly a space it. shuttle? <laughs> just, oh my god, yeah, please. Space shuttle lying around. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah let's, save. let's let's see. do it. But... There's no way that's at all difficult to pilot. <laughs> they're they're they are so hard to make well that I will not ask you to make one. Uh, but I can give you one that I know works, and we can go with that. Let's go. Um, let's try it. Let's see, let's see. We've Because we've already been going for like two hours. I think that maybe just fucking around with actual ships you've already <laughs> had might be better from here. Let's see. Just to Wait. save time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me pull up. Ba, 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 ba. Stock. Do you, you think we can get like all the land to space plane? We can certainly it. try. I just want to. I just. I just want to get into orbit before we. Uh, before we call it today. You think you can even like take off? I, we've seen him leave the ground. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to? Do we want to give him uh, your rocket with uh, all the other passengers? Oh God, the tourist trap. Yeah, we need the tourist <laughs> trap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one thing. Uh, so the challenges, Cephasis, LG, Mike, KSP prep. Was it in here? <laughs> Damn it, where did I put the Atlas shuttle? It's in here somewhere. Atlas shuttle. Let's see. Actually, if you want, Mike, while I'm pulling this up, if you want to fly, if you hit load, there are a lot of. Uh, uh, default crafts that the game comes with. Where's load? Uh, it's the yellow folder icon in the top right. So, like, for example, the Kerbal oh, X, open. if flown properly, can land on the moon and come back. Hmm. The Kerbal X. <coughs> Let's go ahead and try it. It can Ooh. land on the moon and come back. Oh, yeah, that's real pretty, Newt. That's real pretty. Cool. That's a that respectable one is not rocket. Mine. That's, one oh. of, that's one of the stock ones. Oh, okay. I have to pop off for a bit. I might be back. All See right, you guys. Bye. Oh, okay. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye.
All right, let's give it a try. Tell you what, it looks a lot better than any of, any of the other ships I uh, I tried making. No, Mike, don't don't Aww. don't discount yourself. Those were beautiful works of art. Really. They were beautiful in their own right, but were they efficient? Were they efficient? They were efficiently Mike, funny. Efficiency was never the goal. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you if you got into here and made like actually efficient good spaceships, chat would be like the. Fuck? All right, Who's let's go. Guy? Hey, go up. Wow. Okay, what do you want me to do when we get to 200, Newt, if you still want me to do that? Uh, when you get up to about 200 meters per second, just press D to turn over about 10 degrees. Good. Yep. Oh, Ooh. that is not the vehicle that I thought it was. <laughs> oh. Is that a, a good or a bad thing? I don't think I'm going. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I went ten degrees. I think he went more like twenty-five, thirty-three degrees. Am I able to revert back? No, I think I think you can recover it. I think you can recover it. You're doing fine. When that speed hits about five hundred, you want to be going about. Oh, and make sure it hits space to uh, detach the dead engines. Oh yeah. There you go. Uh, you've got a couple more actually. Hit again. One more. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Okay. okay. He's going up. You're doing He's okay. He's going up, boys. Doing okay. He's doing it. We believe in you, Mike. For America. <laughs> We're at about 900 meters. the next thing he's got to do, Newt. Load metaphor. Uh, for now, you'll just continue basically on this trajectory. Uh, if you press M, this will open your map screen. Ooh. How close is he to the mun? Now no. you can see the trajectory you're taking. Uh, you can actually go ahead and press X. Because your orbit or your your trajectory is going Ooh. well into space, so you will make it to space now. Ooh, woo! Space, okay. space. Right. <laughs> so now you need to burn. Once you get up to the top of that arc, you need to burn in the correct direction to insert yourself into orbit. You need to go sideways fast enough that you don't hit the ground again. All right. So this is me right here. Yep, that's you right there. That is you ascending. And then once I get here, I need to change my directory? Trajectory. Your direction. Uh, so okay. what you can do is see that big blue ball at the bottom center of the screen, your nav ball? Th is it this one right here? The, the big one in the middle bottom? Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that has the numbers and stuff on it for your speed and heading and all that. Yeah. So on the left, there's a bunch of little red circular buttons. I see them. I see prograde, so, retrograde, anti-normal, normal. So those are all different it. directions on a compass. So prograde is forward. Retrograde is backwards. Uh, normal is left. Anti-normal is right. Radial out is up. Radial in is down. Um, okay. So once you get up to the arc, you will want to click the prograde button so that you're pointing forwards. I already pressed it. There you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. Um, Doing great, Mike. So you can Doing just good. carefully time warp up to uh, that point. Careful not to go past it. Because now you can time warp a lot faster because you're in space. Okay. We're almost there. Okay, what do you want me to do when we get here? When you get there, make sure you point prograde and then throttle up your engine and watch what happens to your orbit as you start going faster. So just, uh, so do what? So do I press prograde again when we get up there? Nope, it's already clicked. It'll okay. align you as soon as you drop out of time. So orbit. as soon as I get up to AP, just like press, uh, just press uh, spacebar? 
Uh, not spacebar. That old uh, stage. You want to press yeah. either shift to throttle up or Z to instantly throttle up all the way. Okay. I guess I'll press Z. So as soon as we get to AP, press Z. Yep. And then watch your orbit and be prepared to press X when your orbit is a circle. Okay. Yeah. Should I get off the map? Uh, no. Stay on the map. Okay. And zoom out a little bit. You're, you should be good to do it now. You're close enough. Okay. Just, uh, just, yep. I'm holding Z. Uh, what do I do from here? You just click Z one time, and uh, and it'll max out your throttle, and you will start accelerating. And then okay, I've scroll, already... scroll back. Yep, scroll back. Like, scroll out so you can see what's going on. Okay. Uh, I press Z. Not... Hold shift. There we go. Oh, there you go. Now it's throttling up. For some reason, Z didn't, uh, Ooh. didn't throttle up first. But the circle is getting, getting, getting big. Bigger because you're going faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can move the camera around if you want, but you are about to be in any moment. And X. And you are now in orbit, good sir. You are in space. Woo! Right. Congratulations. <laughs> wow. You, there we go. Nobody died. You have done a space. And now if you want to leave the map screen, you can see the lovely view beneath you. Nice. There we go. We're in space. It's the universe. You're part of it now. <laughs> and now what? <laughs> now what do I do? How do I get to the mun? <laughs> we didn't think this this far ahead. <laughs> what do All I right, do to get to the mun? Lesson one, getting to space. Lesson two, by impulsive Hoffman transfer. Let's go. No, God. <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh, uh, ooh, the music coming in. That's nice. It's nice, yeah. Oh, I feel yeah, I feel very space. The soundtrack for this game is very All right, good. all right. Now, now that we're up here, one thing. I'm going to eject Trifon Kerman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Trifon had I'm enough of your to shit. Eject our engineer. <laughs> Oh, we don't need you anymore. You're dead weight. We a, already got the space. A, Who needs an engineer? Is that a good idea? Should I get rid of Trifon Kerman? <laughs> I mean, if he's an asshole, go for it. Dick, get the oh, fuck out of here. He's a, he insulted my cooking. Leave him behind. Be God. <laughs> I'm free. Dropping him off. Dropping him off. We're returning him. There he goes. <laughs> okay, hold on. Get back in there. Have fun. No, nah, no, nah, leave him. Camp. Leave him alone. There Look. you go. He's back in. It's fine. <laughs> we need a man probe out here, though. Who better than an engineer? <laughs> I, I'm not sure that the man probe is. No, it's just fine. A Look, it's just a stripped down version of a man probe. You have a man, right. he's a probe. <laughs> All right. So. I'm in orbit. So Which now we can either try and come back, or we can try and go to the Mun. Um, I think it'll be more successful to try and come back, but let's go to the Mun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so, basically, the way to go to the Mun, sort of without having to do any fancy math for a buy impulsive transfer or anything like that, uh, and because we're not going to cheat and use autopilot. Let's just screenshot this um, real quick for posterity. Thank is, you. Uh, <laughs> click on the mun first. Okay. Set as target. Just so we can start navigating. Uh, next, we are going to zoom out far enough that you can look straight down on the mun's orbit. So you see the circle that you're going around, that blue circle in the center. Yeah. And you see the moon circle that's green. I do. If you draw a line... Uh, fuck. Do you, dumb question. Do you know what t a tangent to a circle is? <laughs> if not, will I, that's will, okay. Will I, sound, <laughs> will, I, will I sound stupid for not knowing? No, no, you will not. Okay, um, I don't know. Okay, so basically... Uh... Oh, how do I break this down easily? Um, it's, fuck, it's, a, it's a line that touches a circle in only one point. Yeah, basically, if you took a, a, a stick and you placed it against a wheel, the point where that stick touches the wheel is the tangent. 
The stick does okay. not go through the wheel. It does not like intersect with it fully. It just rests perfectly on one bit of it. It's also Art of Spain as well. We hate tangents. Okay. Add two. <laughs> yeah. They, so, they cause problems, yes. Yes. If you took a stick and had one end on the moon and then rested it against your blue circle. Mm -hmm. that, uh, well, mm, this, is, this is a terrible way to explain it. Fuck it, we're going to do it with maneuver nodes. Click <laughs> on your orbit uh, anywhere. Click on just my not, orbit anywhere. So the blue like circle. on the blue circle where you are, just click on it somewhere and click add maneuver. Uh, just not exactly where your pod is. Okay. I see him in, I see right here. Um, so, yep, that is a maneuver node. So zoom out really far. Uh, basically where we were looking a second ago. And... Okay, we zoomed maneuver, out really far. That's a little too far. That's, a that's too far. far. That's the entire ass solar system, Mike. <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so like um, around here? Grab one of... The, grab the green handle uh, that's towards the bottom of your screen. This one. And then okay. just pull that out. Like, pull that away. So this is showing if you burn prograde, you will eventually, if you burn that much, accelerate just away from the planet entirely. But instead, if we bring it back in a bit, then we can make it so that it only uh, gets you up to as high as the moon is. So pull the other green handle, the one that's pointing towards the top of your screen. So, so try and get it just so that it passes where the moon will be. So there we go. Okay. So that lets us... It's Oop. okay, you can click on the uh, maneuver node and keep editing it. Hold on, yeah, let me... Uh... Or hold on. One second. Can I? Hold on. Yeah. The maneuver node is just behind your uh, ship. It's the little sort of weird... Oh, this one. Cell looking thing. So there you go. So now if you click on the circle, there so go. there's all those handles of the different colors, but they're all connected by that circle in the center. Mm -hmm. Click on that circle and pull it around your orbit and you can change when the maneuver node happens. Ooh. Okay. So, oh, if you click the X, it'll delete the maneuver node. <coughs> okay. So just click. So just click away from it, and they can click on it again to uh, keep editing it. Okay. So now, if you uh, go back, or if you uh, zoom out a little bit, hold on. You're good. Hold on. Yeah, it's not letting me <laughs> do anything right now. Hold on. Uh, try right clicking on it. No, I can't move the camera at all. Huh. Well, I can do this. I can't, like, I'm right-clicking on things. Nothing's happening. Oh, weird. Go ahead and delete that maneuver node, and you can make another one. Okay. Just make a new one ahead of you. Okay, what should I do? Just do the same thing? Yep, so bring it up so that it gets to about where the moon is. Or Ooh. the moon will be, rather. Let me, let me fix that. On. So I know it gets complicated real quick. <laughs> Let me fix that still. There's not a super easy way to explain a uh, orbital rendezvous. <laughs> <laughs> nope. But that, did they call okay. it this in primary so school? I don't understand. That seemed, that seemed good. That'll work. Uh, okay. Now take the maneuver node and clicking on the uh the center of it so when mm -hmm. you open it up there will be all the colorful handles um oh weird why is it still doing that try uh double clicking on it or something <coughs> nope. nope there we go okay what there what we now? go okay so on the center of it rather than any of the colorful handles around it uh-huh so like the little core of it, click and drag that around the orbit and drag that sort of a, a good ways ahead of you. So like zoom out really far and then uh, and then do it until you see something kind of weird happen. 
Ooh, so keep, say it's like rotating. So leave it, it about there. And like then, here? Yeah, and then scroll out further. I see. Okay, so you do need to pull it a little bit, uh, make it a little bit bigger uh, by br adding the prograde to it. Adding the prograde, okay. So it doesn't quite go out to the uh, the mun anymore, so you drag the green handle. Okay. Oh, the other green handle. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Okay, and now slowly keep dragging that, uh, not the prograde, but that, keep dragging that around the same direction you were a minute ago. So and you'll notice, yep, keep dragging it that way, just around, and you'll notice at some point, Oh, that's weird. Why does it go out so far? I don't know. Is he, like, twisted around or something? Like, does he not look... No, nah, it's... it's So... Space is hard. Okay, in literal, got it. In a literal sense, it's because his orbit is non-equatorial, uh, and we're burning both prograde and anti-normal at the same time. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, is there but, a certain direction you want me to take this in? So... You want it to be a little like right there, okay, about there, and then line it up with the moon's orbit. A there approximately should get you an intersection. Now, if you now it looks like it's lined up from this perspective, but if we rotate our camera so that we can see it vertically, uh, we're way above it. So now yeah. we need to pull those purple handles. Uh to bring it up and down. Hold on. Or sorry, those will those will rotate it. The the blue handles, sorry. But then you'll notice that they start uh, interacting with each other in weird ways. Wait, the blue handles. Yep, in the uh, in the maneuver note that you were messing with, there were the green handles that you were yeah. pulling to make it bigger and smaller, which were prograde and retrograde. There, there and it goes. The there it goes. Will change the tilt, and then the blue handles will change your uh, yeah. your inclination. But then you'll also need to adjust your uh, prograde and retrograde because they will make it much bigger and much smaller. Oop. Huh. Oh. Oh, dear. Welcome to orbital mechanics. <laughs> this is weird. Oh no! I, I I I will because this is a little complicated. I will let you use a little bit of autopilot. So, for example, uh, you can go ahead and click the X on the bottom center of your screen next to that tall curved green bar. Mm -hmm. That'll just delete the maneuver node. Hold on. Press what? So that curved green bar at the bottom center of your screen, that's next to your nav ball, where you see is this. And everything. Yeah. Yep. So click the X next to that, and that'll delete the maneuver node. Okay. Now, top right of your screen, you'll see a word that says mech jib. Um, uh, mech jib. Hold on. Top right, and then slightly to the left on the top. Oh, I see it right here. Screen. So this is the autopilot mod. Uh, you're going to go to Maneuver Planner. Okay. Okay, we are going to change the circular eyes to by impulsive Hoffman transfer. Uh, so the top option, change that to by impulsive Hoffman transfer. Okay. Uh, then we're going to target the moon again. Okay, so do I, um, do I just have to go up to the moon and, uh, hit that as the target? Uh... Yep, so click on the moon, uh, set as target. Okay. Uh, then... Let's see, so it's just by impulsive Hoffman transfer, set as target, uh, then hit create node. Okay, uh, create node. Then this look at that, Mechjib Mech takes care of it. Okay. Uh, now it could auto-execute it for you if you want. Or you can try and fly it in by hand. Hmm. I distinctly remember you saying, Nude, that you'd only allow the autopilot once Mike has approved him or has proved himself. Yeah, but or weren't. orbital mechanics is really hard. That's <laughs> a little a little mean. That's a that's a lot harder than rocket Rondo science. <laughs> so is he okay. using the Kerbal X? 
I am using the Kerbal Axe, I think. Okay. Okay, well, I closed it, because I think that maybe we should do it by hand. <laughs> just okay, to give it so a... It, yeah. So it just gave you the instructions, but you're going to have to fly it in on your own. So you'll notice a new button uh, on your cluster of red buttons for directions. Down here the on, the bottom, the, on the bottom middle? The top rightmost one is your point to maneuver. Okay, I see the maneuver button. Okay. So you can, so you can click on that one, and that okay. will point you in the right direction you need to go, but you need to wait. Look at the bottom right of that little menu, and you'll see uh, node in T minus, yada yada, burn time, yada yada. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that amount of time that you see on the bottom right, uh, about two or three inches to the right of where your uh, cursor is, mm -hmm. um, you need to fast forward until that time, and then when that time comes up, you need to turn on the throttle. Uh, for the time that it says and it'll count down for you and everything and it'll uh, you'll see the meter and stuff It'll be intuitive uh, But it'll say like all right three seconds until you need to start your engines two one And then you need to press Z to turn on your engine and stay pointing at the right direction And then it'll tell you when to turn it off Okay, so fast forward. Uh, where will I see the time again? Uh, bottom center of your screen uh, with the orange and blue circle uh, the navigational ball um, mm -hmm. Just to the bottom right of that, the little green text. Is it the burn time, or the yep, node and T burn time? Node and okay. node and T minus. That's the thing you're warping up to. That's counting down to when you start. And the burn time is how long you'll have your engine on to make it happen. Okay, it's we're at just this going point that I'll tell, totally tell the chat and not Michael. Michael, don't listen. The uh, default maneuver that Mechjev makes usually is a collision course, not an orbit course. <laughs> so we'll probably have to slightly adjust. No, oh, it's what adjustment? You don't have to adjust anything. The point the is to touch the, to touch the moon. If you yeah. can just crash into the moon, I mean, that's close enough. Yeah. That's oh, it. shit! What? Uh -oh. What happened? What happened? Ten, we're 10 seconds ahead. Uh -oh. oh, it's okay. It's okay. Just press Z right now. Just punch it. <laughs> okay, I pressed Z. Is that oh, good? Oh, wait, you're out of gas. You need to stage. <laughs> How do I do that? Bar. Press space bar. Now press Z? Now press Z. Uh, press space bar one more time to activate the engine. Sorry. There you go. Now you're going. And now you can see your orbit changing. Okay. And now you can see that green meter slowly going down. Mm-hmm. That's as you fulfill the maneuver. So when that green meter that's decreasing by your nav ball uh, above where your burn time thing is, uh -huh. when that hits the end, your maneuver should be done. Okay, what, what do I do when it's done? Uh, when it's done, you kill your engine with X. Okay. Uh, I would recommend staying in the map view, like scrolling out so you can see what's going on. Okay. So it's slowly going to get up towards the moon. And remember, you can slow down just a little bit by using control, so you can throttle it back slowly. Okay. So press okay, X when it's about to die. Yep, it's getting close. Okay, press X. Uh, Now-ish? Now. Woo, yeah. okay. Well, you are going to skim past the moon. It's going to be a little high, but you will get past the moon. You're not going to hit it. Okay. Do you think he can get an orbit with the moon? We can it... certainly try. Hmm. Uh, so okay. now if you want to slowly time warp up, because you don't want to pass it. There he goes. Whoa, slowly. <laughs> no, you're okay. All right. Actually, an easier way to do it is click uh, on your orbit. So the blue line that's sort of coming out of where you are. Mm -hmm. Click right before that Mun encounter. So hold on, should I like speed up more? Yep. No, you. So like, click right there on that uh that Mun encounter spot. Okay. And then it should give you the option warp to here. Uh, is it? Is that this clock? No, that's set an alarm. 
Um, well, actually, it'll it'll cancel your time warp when you get up there, anyways. But up, uh, so you can go a little bit faster. You can go like one tick faster. Ooh, slow down, slow down. Woo. Okay. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> All right, what do we want to do from here? Uh, you're just going to keep warping until you finish that blue line, because that's when you transfer over to the moon's gravity. Mm -hmm. ah. And then from there, we need to immediately start inserting you into an orbit, uh, because you are very high above the moon. All right, how do I do this? It's okay. Well, I'll walk you through it. I'll walk you through it. All right, I'm speeding up again. Okay. You're good. Like, like past the end of the blue line. It's okay. Okay. Now what? Okay, now slow down, because you are now in the moon's sphere of influence. Okay, I'm slowed so, down to one time. Yep. You need to hit the retrograde button. Okay. Um, you can also delete the maneuver node, because you don't need that anymore. This one? The, uh... On your nav ball, remember that green meter that went up and down? You can hit the red X on that to delete your maneuver node. Oh, like this thing here? Yep, you can delete that. Okay. Okay. When you hit PE, which is the blue symbol on that arc that you're on, that blue line, when you this hit thing. that, yep, when you get there, you need to press Z until you're in an orbit. Because that's your periapsis, and when you press Z, you're slowing down. So hold until Z moon. until I'm in orbit? You just tap it. You just tap okay. it, it'll max you out, and then press X when your orbit closes into a ring. So when I get there, so should I speed up time and get there? Yep, you can speed up time, just careful not to pass it. What is the periapsis? Uh, your peri what is your periapsis, Mike? What's that number? Periapsis, where is that? Uh, it's the the PE the uh, the blue triangle on the line that you're on the thing that you're headed towards. Oh, the PE. Um, is it is it the T dash number or is it the one right after? Because I see one one million six thousand six hundred three hundred thirty five thousand and uh, fifty four meters. Yep, that's it. That's how that's how high above the surface you are. So you are over a million meters above the surface of the moon. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to speed up again to get closer to this. Once I hit that PE, what do you want me to do again? You're going to press Z to slow down. Okay. So that the Mun can cap... Excuse me. So that the Mun can capture you. Okay. There you go. That should be close enough. So just press Z? Just press Z while you're pointed retrograde, which you are. And you'll see that arc will start to bend around. Ooh. And then when it snaps into a ring, there Ooh. you go. Press X. Nice. Ooh. How close is that periapsis now? Zoom out a little bit. Oh, oh, that's a scraping. <laughs> oh no. That's that's um, really close to okay. touching the moon, do but I think we could do better. Don't <laughs> press Z. So keep that that number visible. Uh huh. Uh, I want you to press, no, not yet, but I want you to press shift and then have a finger hovering over X. And I okay. want you to hit X the moment that that number says 20,000. Which number? The one the, right next to per perlapsis or whatever? Yeah, yeah, periapsis. The periapsis. What, 100 so, and something thousand So right press now shift and then hover over X until it says 20,000? Yep, just tap shift, and it'll give you a tiny bit of throttle, so the number goes down really slowly. Okay. And then just press X the moment it's at 20,000. Because that's about the closest you can get to the surface without taking yourself out on a mountain. <laughs> mm, seven, six, five, four, three, two. There you go. And now, if you want to click on your orbit, say, right where the blue and white lines sort of cross. Uh, p press, uh, what? The... So, j just click on the blue line, sort of where the blue and white line cross on the, uh, on the right side of your screen. Or sort of center right. Yeah, and there, this... Wor warp here. And then if you want to click out of map view. Oh, okay, hold uh, on. With, uh, M. Ooh. And see a very cool perspective. Aesthetic. Ooh. Oh, oh. 
Ooh. All right, what do we want to do from here? Well, <laughs> I don't know if we have enough gas to land. Here, why don't you just why don't you just go down to the moon, buddy? <laughs> Could that... You want me to land? <laughs> No, he's gonna set a curve down. And, he's just gotta Jordan, jump. It's time for you to. It's time for you to jump down. He's just get gotta off. jump oh, down. Like, it's close warp, enough. Warp a little bit. You're gonna get a lot closer in a second. Okay, hold on. Um, how much do you want me to warp? Uh, if you want him to try and get down to the surface, warp until your altitude, which you can see at the top center, it's 186,000. Oh, hold on. I need. I need, I, need, I need to let him board again. Okay, now I can. Time warp. Warp okay. until that's like 50. Warp until what's 50? So see at the top center of your screen, 172,000, 71, 70, 69, 68, 67. Yeah. W warp until that 160 whatever is like 0, 050, 0, like 50. Like uh, not 50,000? Like 50, no, like 50,000. 50,000. Okay. So it's at, so it's at 100,000. You're still going to get 80% closer than you are right now. You are going to skim this. Chad is concerned that uh, the Kerbin's not coming back. <laughs> yeah, he'd be fine. Ever an option, he wants it this way. Here we are. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead and hop out. This is your stop, buddy. <laughs> you know, right. when, the, when you're trying to RCF, get off of your bus, press... but the bus is still going. <laughs> Press R fuck. to turn on his jetpack. <laughs> uh, once you let go, and then I did let go. and then press R to turn on his jetpack and WASD to control him. All right, now aim down. <laughs> oh, space, space, let go. There you go, and then press R. <laughs> he doesn't want there to let go. go. <laughs> He's not. He doesn't seem to be very happy. So actually, burning in the direction of the mun, like towards the ground, will not get you closer to the ground. Uh, because of how orbital mechanics works. Um, so, you see the direction the ground is moving underneath you? Yeah. Like it's sliding to the right of the screen mm -hmm. as you're swinging around the moon? So, okay. So you want to burn, burn to the left? that way. How do burn I do that? To the right of, so basically, turn your camera to face like... This way? The uh yeah, that way and then burn that way. And that How will do I slow do that? you down. Yeah, just you're already doing it. As long as you point your camera that way, your kerbal will automatically follow it. Oh, Mike's doing a science. Nice. Bruh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what happened? Uh oh. Oh, it's because you entered suborbital velocity. You are now you are now on a collision course. <laughs> He's gonna do it! He's gonna touch the bun! <laughs> Alright, so now, so now do I just wait? Do I just wait before I land on the moon? <laughs> this is fine. Land is a word for it, and you can either wait or you can try and uh I say we wait. You got your shot <laughs> ready? No newt, newt. Yeah. We're about to land into a crater. Ten thousand meters out. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, this is going right. very fast. Very fast. Hold shift. Hold shift. <laughs> It'll soften the landing. Oh man! Oh wait! Oh, that actually put you back into orbit. What? That tiny boost with shift. Hold control, and it'll undo that. He's gonna orbit the moon, but oh only like scraping you... oh, his toes. Uh -oh. oh! Oh! No! No! Is he okay? Did he make it? Where'd he go? He clipped. The best way I can say it is he didn't feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, Newt. Uh, Take a shot. Yeah. All right. Well, that's we it. Least, hey, buddy. We he, uh, least, we touched yeah, the moon. Hey, you moon. made it to the moon, which moon. means you gotta you gotta take a shot of syrup too. Yeah. Hold on. I'll grab. Go the syrup. get your syrup, on, Newt. You got it. your syrup. I'll let go get some syrup. Right one second. Let me, let me go syrup. get mine. One second. Let me grab the syrup. I'll be right back. Cheers to the moon. <laughs> to the Kerbal Space Program. We've done great work here today. Uh, we're getting F's in the chat. Do, do we need do we need to break out that speech? Should we have Michael read the the speech about the? I think you, you can guess which speech I'm talking about. Oh God, that that speech is so depressing. 
Uh, for folks unaware, there was a s very specific speech that JFK had drafted in the circumstance... Uh, I mean, there were oh. numerous speeches drafted uh, in the circumstance that something happened right, during I got the, my first moon, the first moon missions. Anything from they get there and they're just consumed by lunar quicksand, or if... Because, I mean, we didn't know what happens on the surface of the moon. We never touched it. <laughs> uh, or if, like, the engines failed, or if Worms something happened could come out. out, or whatever. Yeah. Um, but the most depressing one is if the capsule lands and everything's hunky-dory and they do their whole mission, but then they try and take off and something happens and they're stranded there. Uh, that is a rough speech. It's a good speech. It's moving, but mm -hmm. it's rough. <laughs> I okay. I have my shot of beer to take, and then I I have some uh, some bourbon barrel aged Vermont maple syrup. So I'll take the. Here, hold I'll on. Take I'm the gonna switch shirt. to my other computer that has a webcam for this. Give me one second. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, okay. Uh, I'll I'll get on webcam if it means. If he's doing it, I'll do it. Don't break, damn it. My poor, my poor cam mount. All right, Newt, before he gets a syrup shot, do you got the, the alcohol shot? I got mine's ready. Uh, I do, I have the, uh, the strong stuff. This is, this is what I was saving the shot of blue label for. Oh, God. Okay, tequila or whiskey for my strong shot. Uh, por qué no los dos, Mr. Amigo? Oh, God, fine, I'll mix the... Uh, sorry, Toomey, oh, I know you're oh, screaming. Oh, God, that is sacrilege. That is sacrilege. Committing sacrilege, got it. Mixing tequila and whiskey like it's a good idea. <laughs> it's gotta be some kind of cocktail. You, you, you um... better not lose any freaking fingers tomorrow. Yeah, All fun right. fact, guys. When I go to work tomorrow, I get to operate this, like, big, you know, right. many thousands dollar industrial cutting laser, so. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, Newt. I have the hard liquor. Ooh, Mike's, uh, yep. Mike's got video up. Let me, uh. Can you guys, uh, can you guys see me? Yeah, one second. Let me get, yep. uh, my camera up and let me show. Let me do grid. There we go. So there's you, there's me. <laughs> you, you. I got syrup. All One all second, before you do, it. I have to take the the, the the other regrettable shot. Newt, you ready? Beautiful. Yeah. I just filled this with syrup. Don't go. No. Yeah, I got I got syrup, but I, I'll I'll join you. So one second, Newt. I got the hard liquor. You ready? So we can sip the hard liquor together, and then we'll sip the syrup. Hell yeah! All right. So hard <laughs> liquor first. Bottoms up. Internet clink. Bottoms up. Clink. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> not for syrup. Uh, Mike. Oh, 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 oh. Good luck. I'm not filling this all the way already. Oh my god, Michael. D don't forget to brush your teeth tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Mike, you missed my cue. Now I have to drink this alone. Now follow you that do. with a mouthwash chaser. <laughs> Ooh, I already did this now once is before. That, now is that maple syrup or is it corn syrup? This is, this is, uh, um, Trader Joe's organic uh, Vermont maple syrup. It's bourbon barrel aged, so it's okay. Good. I've got something similar. This is also pure maple syrup. Okay. All right. Next time I see you, Mike, I'm making good on my promise to bring you some really good, authentic Vermont maple syrup. Oh, I'll Please bring up do. when I go to visit him. I'll bring up the stuff that the fan gave me, so he'll get to try that. But um, oh, you, yeah. you should visit me, and you can bring him authentic Canadian maple syrup. I would love to do that. This all is right. Canadian maple syrup right here. Oh, okay. Well. All right, guys, you ready for this? <laughs> oh, man, I should give some, I, I should I'm ready. some maple syrup you ready? for the friends that are visiting me tomorrow. Newt, Newt you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty ready. I'm ready. Not willing, but ready. <laughs> Much like the, the man who just touched the mun, I too am prepared for death. To me is very You're more nervous quiet. about this right than, the, than the liquor. I can cons look, look, one of the li the liquor is more pleasant. The tequila whiskey mix is more pleasant than I know this is gonna be. 
Just plug your nose and down it all in one go. Look, I'll just show off how beautiful the shot it glass is. It doesn't smell bad. Yeah, it's it really pretty. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it does it smell good. It smells bad. It tastes great. Uh, all right. By the way, you ready, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, <laughs> Let's just like it. the launch. Let's uh, count down. Ten, nine, nine, nine eight, 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 seven, seven six, six, five, five four, eight. three, two, one. Let's go. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, taking it like a champ, Fable. Come on, there's still a bit more in that oh. shot glass. <laughs> Listen, oh, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Dude. To honor that, to honor that, I'll fill this up again. Oh, oh God. God. Here. Ch Chad, is, <laughs> Chad is saying we're enabling Michael's syrup addiction right now. Might I remind everybody that there's no health insurance provided by this production. <laughs> Toomey is begging you to stop, Fable. Smooth, I bet. It was better than the other one, which is sad because the other one is better quality syrup. But I feel like it's like only the shittiest quality is is um, can be treated this way. This is not how you use good maple syrup. <laughs> God, first time I'll stream, I'm actually gonna break open this water I said I had. Yeah. Uh, Fables just questioning their life choices. A life flashing before Getting my yourself. eyes. For the past several God, years, I've been dedicated to this. <laughs> Chad, Chad is so mad at you guys right now. <laughs> Here we go. One more. 100% grade A maple syrup. Let me just, just let me just whiskey this, this up. I gotta to get that that last lingering that last lingering little bit out. I gotta there. Okay. Make YouTube real mad at me. It's okay, YouTube. It's just apple right. juice. You ready? All right. Yep. All right. Three, two, two one. one. That's better. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Why are you happy about this? Dude, that I love like jam. I fucking oh love maple god. syrup, dude. <laughs> Mike. I mean I can do you... this. I can this is I not hard for me. Any. I could literally just drink this. Uh Ch Chad is <laughs> Mike! Michael, Chad is asking that you take a shot of soy sauce to balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, he no, needs no, to be dormant to go with your sweet yeah. Yeah, he's, he's um, Ashley is gonna be like, why did I have to call an ambulance, Fable? I'd be like, well, you see, what's going to get to space. He so. went to, he got to space. We might have soy sauce. To the moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now Mike. the stream is just what inadvisable things can Mike ch like chuck down his throat? Right. <laughs> yeah. If, if we're gonna go to that route, we should at least re make another tweet because there's gonna be a lot of the internet that's gonna want to get in on that. Mm hmm. <laughs> Donate to see Mike chug soy sauce. <laughs> you got hot sauce, Mike? We might. Yeah, we got plenty of hot sauce, actually. Okay. We got some southern oh, hot sauces uh... that Dave brought back from uh, Oh, Louisiana. hell yeah. <laughs> Throw back a little sriracha. Yeah. Do I ever get diabetes, Edward asks? Um, I don't know how I don't have it yet. <laughs> I've been trying. I also don't think it's something you get intermittently. <laughs> just, you know, sometimes your, your diabetes <laughs> positive or not. Really. Briefcase of diabetes. No. It cleared up over the weekend, though. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, no. That's real funny seeing the little rocky light up as you talk while seeing your actual face. <laughs> Hi, uh, yeah, Janet, welcome there to our face. right down there. While yeah. I talk. <laughs> it's really adorable. Ah, oh, God, I love it. He's just a little cutie patootie. <laughs> Don't let Nova hear you say that. Oh, no. Nova uh, asked me to say something as rocky like a few weeks ago that I had to say no to. Oh, no. They, yeah. they, they, they told oh, me no. about it before they came to ask you. Oh, no. I was oh, asleep no. at the time. Sorry. But oh. I know what was asked. Oh. I, I uh, told them no. Praise, praise our fans, by the way, guys. <laughs> praise our fans and their, their wonderful support. They're, they're all gems, truly. They're wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to Lack of Cord. You guys you are very special. You're all great. Mm -hmm. Some you just of you got a. Uh, you just got a super chat. 
Uh, yeah, super chat from Plastic Rarity. Five dollars, fifty-fifty soy sauce and hot sauce, or I never speak to you again. Well, Mike, I mean, they they donated five dollars. Time to suffer. Don't kill the VAs, please. Listen, man. Look, I just chugged. They two signed the contract, maple okay? Maple syrup. <laughs> I think I think that's enough. Other lines already. Why do you maple syrup? Actually, sounds pretty good. Um. <laughs> and now I'm like, chugging like, water to help balance that. You know, like... Do I have anything? Uh, spicy um, chocolate? Is it Nick, tough? that's not how chocolate works. <laughs> Christ. It can't be. No, Nick. No. <laughs> Isn't that one of those, like, those stupid diet drinks that hollywood types do when they're trying to lose weight instead of eating they they do that like watered down maple syrup with uh, i live down here i want to find pepper. that now i could make like, that down maple like syrup maple syrup water and cayenne pepper or something like that i mean if you're oh. just talking about like apple cider vinegar with like a little bit of maple yeah, syrup yeah. it's pretty good actually i could make it it does not cost ten dollars like they're probably charging for it <laughs> yeah every every little health fad happens down here <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Time to take the internet. Like, doesn't need to look at my face anymore. Unless you want to show your face some more, Nick, Mike. Here. No, I'm going to take my camera and turn yeah, it off. Yeah, let's too. turn it on cameras. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. I'm not going to show my camera because I currently look like a hobo. <laughs> Mike, uh, Newt, I look like a hobo. <laughs> I could go. Dude, I could go I harder. Look like a hobo. I, I'm it's wearing. It's 2022. Um, everybody looks like. A I'm hobo. wearing the. I'm wearing the pajamas that I've been wearing it's, for like two days straight. You know what? You know just, who looks like a hobo is Zib right now on the <laughs> on my desktop. <laughs> Which is what everybody's say, looking. On the contrary, Fable, you actually look great now, right now, and I love those headphones. Oh, you're very sweet, but stop lying. <laughs> I could look more like a hobo. I have my. I have my hobo coat and everything. The, uh, the, the webcam does not pick up my scruffiness very well. It's too complimentary. I need a red cam so everybody can see every hair and pore. <laughs> I do wish that I had my chicken on hand, though, because it's always fun when I get to share her. She's so good. But anyway, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, do we want to answer any questions before we totally wrap? Do we not get to see Mike uh, try to pilot a plane? Okay, here. So, yeah. Mike, do you still have the game open? Uh, on my other computer. Let me just move back to the other computer real quick. Okay. Yeah, one second. We'll just give him the stock Dino Wing. Yeah. It's a basic sort of Challenger style space shuttle. Somebody was talking about maple syrup and coffee earlier. Can confirm maple syrup actually a really good sweetener for coffee. The the flavors uh, work together very very well. Ooh. Yeah. Do advise. Okay. Yeah. I haven't actually tried that. Uh, there were some questions in the backlog while Michael's moving. Sure. Um, well, Joe, Plant Joe Plants asks, what is Freckles' favorite kind of sandwich? Um, uh, not with horse. <laughs> I'd say probably grilled cheese. They, they had a lot of like weird sandwich types in the 20s that were like I don't know, sort of trending sandwiches that involved like grilled cheese. That yeah. met, no, that did involve <laughs> like sardines actually, <laughs> um, and uh, sardines and like and olives and and pate like liver pate, like weird stuff like that. But uh, you yeah, lost I think freckle, me as quick as you had. Me. Freckle would be a simple boy who would just want grilled cheese or like a, a like just a slice of meat and a slice of cheese and he'd be good to go or hell even peanut butter uh he'd be good with but, yeah simple um, sandwiches there you go. i put i put peanut a present on screen cheese. just for chat peanut butter grilled cheese. also uh what where do you want me to go from here if we're gonna try and fly a, a plane or whatever uh so if you'll go to the vab and you will load a stock vehicle known as the dino wing Ooh. Okay, let okay, me... so should I go to the Space Center or quit to menu or go to Vehicle Assembly or what? Go, back. go to Vehicle Assembly Building. Okay, you cannot revert after switch. Oh, whatever. Oh, no, don't no. revert. Just uh, just uh, escape Space Center. I'm having oh, a good time. Okay. This is a nice Friday. Thank you, guys. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Always fun to hang out with you guys. Nox, you're delightful. Thank that, you. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I shouldn't have taken that second hit of maple syrup. <laughs> oh, he yeah. admits it. Are you, are you feeling okay? I feel okay. Um, I can feel a little rumbly in my tummy. Um, <laughs> but I'm um, doing okay. Or if you I mean, maybe you should eat some real food to like kind of <laughs> do you absorb the. Do you have some maybe. chips? Maybe. Yes, I'll eat some chips after. Yeah, with this. salt definitely will balance that out. Yeah, actually, we got I, um, chips. or soy sauce. <laughs> no, we don't want to actually kill him, no. Nick. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I got some barbecue kettle chips. I'll just eat after we're done here. Okay, actually, we're wait, here we'll do it. Here we'll do it like this. Uh, <laughs> click on the uh, the LMP button again, like you did earlier. LMP button. Uh, where is that again? Uh, so bottom right, it's the red text on the gray circle. Wait. Uh. Bottom text on the gray circle. It's a black uh, circle. So bo like... bottom right of your screen, it's sort of a gray black circle. Gray black circle. Um. Oh, LMP. Yep. So see that blinky button? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna click that. Uh, that'll bring up that. You're gonna click on my name. Okay. Uh, and then you're gonna click on Dino Wing uh, and click the button next to that. Okay. There you go. Now, if you hit load, you will have Dino Wing as an option. Where do I hit load? Uh, load is on the top right. You can close the little MechJab box that's open. So, top right of your screen. Uh, you can close the different boxes. Don't worry about it. Uh, load is the yellow button at the top right. Open. Looks like a file folder. Okay, Dino Wing. And then hit load. Oh, boy. There you go. Why does it look off? Uh, body. Why does it look like that? Why is it twisted? Uh, because it power slides off of the launch pad. Okay. Right, should I try to launch it then? Uh, make sure you put crew in it, and then yes. It. Well, it didn't tell me that it wouldn't have have crew, so. It have <laughs> I suppose it's fine. <laughs> it didn't recommend that I add crew and that it would be unstable, so. Should be okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you just full throttle and, uh, turn on SAS with T and make sure to space once to light the liquid fuel engines and then space again to light the solid rocket boosters, uh, what happens from there is up to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Should we, check, should right. we check if the gaskets on the boosters are rated for the launch temperatures? L Tracy, you got anything poetic Damn. for this moment? <laughs> uh, no, but I am amused that Aster V is asking, why is that sack so tiny? It's an alto sack. It's an alto sack. It's fine. Yeah, it's and don't think bad. about it. It's fine. It's not actually a sax. It's just shaped like one. <laughs> Tracy, shh, 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 shh. don't don't abuse them of their fantasy. <laughs> so remember, Mike, a Z to fully throttle up, and then T to turn on SAS, and then you will space once, space again, and then she is in the air in your hands. Uh, that is that does space. not sound like a fun date. <laughs> All right, there now it goes it's in my hands from here. Yep, she is in your hands. Is the space shuttle uh, supposed to be firing at the same time? Uh, yes, the space shuttle counteracts the uh, okay. the boosters. Also, hello, okay. Mike. Whoa. I am about Whoa. 150 Holy feet shit. below you. Oh, hey, oh, no. Oh, 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 no. Oh, that's very close and probably should not happen in real life or ever. <laughs> I, I like uh, you're going a bit off course. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fine. Don't worry. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, anyway, <laughs> let me uh, let me prepare another shot. <laughs> Quick, <spin> well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be finishing this bourbon tonight. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, there's not enough. I, I'll I'll uh, top the rest of it off with the syrup. There it goes. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. 
Oh, oh no. You're still okay. Oh hey, no, it's, it's, okay. it's fine. Well, it's both. technically in um the both air. Fine. It's fine. Oh, and now it's not. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> uh, now, 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 do you think they're fine? Um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> on your sure. The fine. verdict is still out. <laughs> Folks, drink responsibly. Anyway, bottoms I, up. I've, I've seen worse SpaceX launches. <laughs> <laughs> Nox, I had whiskey in my mouth. <laughs> Fuck Sorry. you. Recover the vessel. <laughs> I, I, I like how only Newt and Joe Plains in chat caught how cursed what I said earlier was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how did Joe Plans respond? Curse comment, Knox. Yep. <laughs> yeah, for folks uh, who didn't catch the joke, Knox said, "Are you sure that the uh, what? How did you phrase it? Uh, are Are you sure that the gaskets on the solid boosters can handle the launch temperatures? Oh, which ow. is specifically a which yeah. is specifically oh. a reference to Columbia. Oh, oh, oh." I just I know just enough about astrophysics history to get this shit. <laughs> Man, yeah, actually, in another I'm lifetime actually... I would have been involved in this shit. This is my jam. Yeah. Yeah. You're actually look at Newt go though. You actually can't get an engineering degree in Canada without having studied that incident. Oh it's god, yeah, no. Yeah, no, you want part of the curriculum. <laughs> you want to know every disaster so you never replicate it again. Yep. It's one thing if it happens, it's tragic enough. It's it's truly stupid if it happens the second time. And that's why Mike is not working at NASA. Which nope. it did. Nope. <laughs> and Challenger. But no, Mike, yeah. your your talents lie <laughs> elsewhere. You're a wonderful VA. You're a you're a you're a sparkling personality. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. But I still want to get into the sciences, obviously, as oh, you can tell. The psychological sciences? <laughs> No, just the technological sciences. I'll, I'm so good at it, as you can clearly tell. Oh, obviously, obviously. I think <laughs> Kerbal... A walking practice. demonstration of what not to do. You need to just cold call Elon Musk himself and be like, look, I'm your latest engineer. I won't ask for anything. Pay me in crypto, and we're gold. We're Gucci. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Here we go! Let's go! We're speed running our way back to Kerbin. <laughs> try, try again. Oh, I'm not sure it's wise for me to take another shot at this point. <laughs> Calvin Kerman's not looking too happy. I'd say probably not. God, I didn't realize we're still on Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still alive? <laughs> Somehow. I'm, I'm, I'm just imagining our crew. It's like, I know we have some crew uh, listening in, and I'm just like, yep, you know, this is the voice you've been hearing. I told you. I told you guys. <laughs> oh. he, look at him go. He's he's fine, folks. Look at him. He has yeah, both legs are functioning. I mean, he has brain damage, but it's fine. <laughs> he doesn't have to know that. It's okay. A TBI, but hey, yeah, he doesn't have that. How far is he from the moon? He just needs to run all the way there, right? Jump really hard, really is he fast. Running is he running away from the space program? Where's he going? <laughs> he's running towards the moon. That's his job. <laughs> <laughs> Just run, run toward the mountains, little guy. You, I believe in you. You can do it. Don't look back. <laughs> okay. Yep. Is there, uh, so... <laughs> uh, we're running on three hours and thirty minutes. Do we want to answer yeah, any... I think, uh... Yeah. What do oh, we yeah, we'll some... yeah. I think I think we could call it now. Yeah, we could call yeah. it. All right. I know uh, Newt's got to work tomorrow, <laughs> so I yeah. have to be up at five a.m. Uh, yeah, let's let you go to bed. So. Yeah. So make sure you drink just a little bit more water before you do. You should yeah. probably. Yes. All right, folks. Yeah, that's fair. Let's call it. Thank you so much for joining us on today's. What the hell you call this? <laughs> Please support the project. <laughs> Uh, go to littledaisycafe.com if you want to see our blog updates. You can follow us on Lackadaisy Cats on Twitter. That is Tracy's Twitter. We can also follow us on 
Like a Daisy film. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do post stuff. We have regular streams, usually every two weeks. Um, usually it's a work stream. Today was a little bit special. We just decided, let's just have a good time. Um, yeah. And yeah, you know, we, we'd like to share what we're doing. Uh, we appreciate your support. If you're interested in interacting with the rest of the community, uh, discord.gg slash lackadaisy. Is that right, Newt? Yep. Mm -hmm. Am I missing anything else to plug? I've had uh, too much I mean, to kill. Uh, yeah. some, some of our animation. Yeah, please uh, go previews. watch. Please watch. We haven't posted one in a while, but that's because we're saving up to post a, a oh, trailer yeah. uh, teaser. So yeah, so. yeah, we got lots of material if you want to, uh, if you are new to Lackadaisy, you can check out the comic dubs, and of course go to lackadaisy.com, read the comic there, we have, there's the mainline series, and then there's also a bunch of really funny, goofy little comics that Tracy has done. Tracy Butler is an astoundingly talented artist, like, holy crap, um, who it is absolutely worth your time. <laughs> no, Tracy. you are not allowed to insult yourself on stream! Fuck you. you are That's our job. A self you are a bar for people to attempt to achieve across the furry and general anthro community. Stop. No, 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 no. I'll take it further. Furry, are you kidding me? In general, period. Tracy yeah. Butler is the goat. I, I, I started reading, I read Lackadaisy, then I was like, oh, I like, I, I should try to read some more professional co uh, comics because uh, it was the most professional comic I ever read. <laughs> then I tried to read professional comics and I'm like, the art sucks in all of these. <laughs> <laughs> but not this one. So yeah, so I just well, stuck with Lackadaisy. <laughs> thank you. You guys are going to kill me with kindness. We absolutely, it's no, our we job. We tried to do that on your birthday and we almost succeeded. We got to reel it in. It's true. Yeah, it's true. It <laughs> thank you again, Mike, for all the sweet messages. You nearly murdered yeah. her. Yeah. Aw. Well, you're yeah. very welcome. Yeah. They were all very, very true. Yeah, and shout out to our crew and our cast, both one and the same. They are amazing, and none of this would get done without them. Like, truly, thank you, Mike, for uh, jumping in on the show. You are fun as fuck. Thank you. Aw. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate yeah. you spending some time with us here. It's mm -hmm. been very fun, very entertaining. Grateful yeah, every day. Hope you I'm had a good time. Happy. Yeah, yeah, I did, and I'm always happy to come back whenever. Yeah. If you guys ever yeah, want me did. on for anything at all, I know you guys. Sure. You know, leave leave invites open for anybody in the server. Um, we do, yeah, we do. Don't, we don't we don't want to pressure you into coming because it's you know it's we know you're busy yeah. with other stuff and you know yeah you're in demand so we don't want to <laughs> yeah if you your time if you have any ideas that. uh mike for what you you know what might be a good time you know go ahead and suggest we're happy to try it out uh um, yeah absolutely yeah we love having you on it's always it's always fucking great and also shout out yeah. to to nox here who is our wonderful mod who has been uh managing questions and chat and stuff yeah, he's here on a volunteer yeah, basis, and he puts so much, like, personality and energy into everything. We really appreciate you. And he's also one of the mods yeah. on the Lack Accord. Newt is our astounding community manager on the Lack Accord. It is a great space. Um, it keeps me, you know, it is a morale booster for me whenever I'm like, oh, I'm having a bad day. I look at the Lack Accord, and it makes me feel better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Black Accord's great. They're uh, so you guys, good. You guys rock. We are very often very entertained by the art you guys post there. Oh, yeah. It makes me laugh all the time. <laughs> it's like, I'm making this stuff for you guys uh, as much as for our own benefit, honestly. Like, yeah. my own benefit, I, there's plenty of things I can do for my own benefit, but I like making stuff for the people. That's why I make cartoons. Uh, you work you work extremely hard, and uh, it's, it's very appreciated. I do, because so. I want them to be happy. It's important to me. It really is. I want them to be happy. I want my crew to be happy. I want everybody to to feel good and be proud. Um, there's only so much that we can control in this universe, and if nothing else, I would like to make something or behave <laughs> yeah, in a way I that mean, is positive. So. It's a lot going on, and so much of it is out of our mm -hmm. control to do anything about really you yeah. know um except donate money and, you know do fundraisers every now and then but uh at, at least we can maybe do something that makes people smile a little bit yeah the universe said you shall be a clown and i said all right <laughs> <laughs> it's destiny destiny is <laughs> this is what i got and this is what i'll give but yeah you know uh so 
you know, be a positive force in your own corner of the world. Please uh, listen to people, be empathetic, be kind. Um, and if you're if you're having a hard time, please take a moment for yourself and treat yourself nicely. Treat yourself like the, your own best friend, what you wish you, you could receive, because it means a lot um, and you do matter. So yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and yeah, I think that it good night everybody I'm out of words. Have, a, have a lovely yeah, weekend have a good thanks weekend thanks for joining yeah. us take it easy thanks you guys go eat a oh, cookie oh. and for the love of god don't take a shot of maple syrup before <laughs> yeah. we close try I not, really to, not do yeah uh, try not everybody. to do too much doom scrolling yeah <laughs> yeah before we close everybody say hi to digio who's been lurking behind also hi, hi yeah, digio digio hello digio hello. we love you man <laughs> digio is <laughs> all my crew Hovering in chats and elsewhere. You're, you're gold. I yeah, love you. Yeah, been working. Just, this has been PhD really fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Bye-bye. That's it. Bye. Bye.